following announcement has been paid for by the Lorne World Order. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Please record your message. Hey Sika, it's me, TCAV Gaming, not I mean? Are you still 24? I can't be your sugar daddy no more, because I love West most now. But don't be fat, not I mean? And shout out to Silent Rick and Octopushy. Not I mean, stupid bitch. Hey, little bitch, it's Sika. On the shit, hold up, kiss and hoes, kiss and hoes. The brother got too much kiss and hoes, kiss and hoes, kiss and hoes. The brother got too much kiss and hoes. Ain't got no money to buy me all the clothes, bitch. The brother got too much. Kids and hoes, okay. You want me to be loyal? I tell you, nah, nah. The brother got too much kids and hoes, kids and hoes, kids and hoes. The brother got too much kids and hoes, kids and hoes, kids and hoes. The brother got too much kids and hoes. Ain't got no money to buy me all the clothes. But I got too much kids and hoes. Yeah. Kids and hoes. Be kids and hoes. Okay. But I got too much kids and hoes. I'm not a stepmom or a baby mom. No. He's just a queen, so I barely even bother. Ain't no money left on me. Bitch. I thought I was supposed to be the queen. Buy me all the bling. Yeah. It was just a fling. Uh, I'm taking seriously. Well, this is for the week. Yeah. This is for the Fucking on me though, I am not your hoe. Get up out of here, weird. Who was baby mama house? Kids and hoes, kids and hoes. Brother got too much kids and hoes. Kids and hoes, kids and hoes. The brother got too much kids and hoes. Kids and hoes, kids and hoes. I know you feel that too much kids and hoes. Kids and hoes, kids and hoes. It's a real shit. It's a real fucking shit, man. I know that y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't even act like. Hey, Sika, it's me again. Tcal Gaming. Did I leave my West Most sex doll at your house? Because guess what? I need it back. And I know what you're gonna say. Oh, he's crazy. He prefer a sex doll to a real woman. Not I mean, but you're not gonna Kanye with me. That sex doll didn't make me it's so threat Fritzo Skinnik Fritzo Yes, English is my second language. Make fun of it. Call me back, Fika. Or come see me. Come see me. Stupid bitch. The preceding announcement was paid for by the Lord World Order. Yeah, I got to tell you, Slothcat, week after week, the stuff that the LWO is, is putting forward is more and more disgusting. It is, but you got to admit, it was a catchy tone. It was catchy. The brother had too much kids and hoes. And uh, first of all, shout out to Silent Rick and Octopushy. But shout out to DJ to DJ Payne One for uh for for taking on the role of TCAP Gaming for that, um for that little clip. And that song is actually six minutes long. I I cut it down. That that song is six minutes, and I got to tell you the the middle and the end are just as good as the part that I played. If you don't believe me, ask ask Black Boy. Um, Black Boy also a huge fan of of the Sika Playbook. He uh, loves. Everyone, welcome, welcome to Mo Negroes. As you know, the fastest growing African black ran show about Lauren Armstrong anywhere on a Monday night. So um well, welcome to the show. We've got some the Hillborn amnesia calls we're gonna be listening to tonight. Are, are you excited about that, Sloth Cat? Yeah, I'm real excited. Don't I sound excited? You sound like you, well, someone someone actually I think said it best. Uh, well, first of all, thank you, James Mar Mar, uh, for the super sticker. James said, "All I have to say is, West and his colleagues put in a lot of work, a lot of hours and work to entertain us. So show gratitude." Um, I just hear you making a lot of noise. What are you doing back there? I'm I'm not doing anything. 
What's that sound? It's my, it's my dog moving. What around. is your dog? Is your dog drunk? Because it's, it's not like a walk. <laughs> it's like, so, yo, did, did Carl Weathering tombstone your dog? <laughs> Mate, I don't know what he did to me when I went unconscious, so I now don't know what what he did to my dog neither. Your your British bulldog is just a played ass bulldog now. Yo, let your dog lay down because it's stumbling around. I don't like the sound of it. Someone said uh, that you sound like like a walking, talking pot plant or something like that. No, Slot here is Doctor Cunt. Uh, Sloth Cat is how I imagine a cannabis plant would sound like if it could speak. So. I mean, let's give the people some. We're gonna set the we're gonna set the the clock for ninety seconds so that you can you can say hi to everyone with with big energy. The, those famous sloth cat Mo Negro's energy, and then we're gonna hop right into uh right into the calls. We're gonna do both calls tonight, so we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. So um, Alexa, set a timer for ninety seconds. And go. Meta Meta, James Meyer, Tommy M, Lawn's Empty's Threat, Asbury Brad, uh, Pussy Destroyer, right. Cornville Counselor, Carl Weathering, Dr. Khan, Kit Kat Meow, Fred Casa, Silent Rick, Willow Angel, Cosantan, DJ McNerdat, Spencer Severa, Sideface 09, Clementine, The <laughs> Drew and Identity, Grant, I mean, Trooper Grandson, Evil Little McNuggets, Madam Ovaries, Tracy Hamill, Ricky Spanish, Ricky Spanish, Blue Boy. Oh, wait, Blue Boy, just pause real quick because Blue Boy had Blue Boy had something that he wanted to say. You can still <laughs> suck a dick here. without a voice. All right, continue. <laughs> Rachel D, DSP Historical Society, Crispy Tree, Tur Ferguson, Generic Puerto Rican Male, Lawrence Mr. Penis Photo, Richard Roberts, Amoro Ray with a fat butt. Kimmy, let's let's do uh three more because I because I interrupted you. Outdoor loser, dream. I just I just is this a Maybe joke? Yes, seriously, is this, is this a bit? Is this a bit now where you're gonna do it worse each week? Because like you for there was a week where you had all this energy. Every were like, uh oh, here comes suck boy, blue boy. You can still suck a dick here. without a voice. That don't sound like nothing I would say. That's well, I mean, but I'm just saying that's. What, I mean, like, because listen, just listen to what he said. You can still suck a dick here. without a voice. I wouldn't know that, but but apparently, but apparently, <laughs> but apparently <clears throat> Blue Boy does. And why does Blue Boy know that? Because Hillborn is very strict with the LWA, the way they run things. You need to get there and get that ah. money, baby. See, um, I don't care how bad your your voice is. I don't care if you. I don't care if you got strep throat. Hillborn has rules and regulations. You need to get there and get that ah. money, baby. And that's and that's how it goes. And that's why we do things different here. Um. So anyway, uh, you guys, are you ready to get started? I'm ready to do this. All right, let's do this. So uh, the links are in the description. This is a uh, Will has amnesia part one. Hi, honey. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, there she is. I missed you. I have a question. Yes, honey. Did you get a permit for my closet? Did I get a, a, a permit? Oh, DSP Historical Society had a question. It said, 
Uh, I thought Blue Boy was going to be back with part two of the email. So Blue Boy will 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 be Black Boy will be back. It, um, I hope next week to have Black Boy and Honest on. I think that would be a that that would be that would be fun. Don't you think? Yeah, that'll be um that'll be groovy. Oh my God, does Carl Weathering do super <laughs> kicks? Carl Weathering, if you're listening, just give give Slock at a super kick to the face. And see if that doesn't speed up the old CPU a little bit there. You know how sometimes your computer starts making a noise, so you smack it on the side, and it stops making that noise? I'm just saying you need one of the old fan adjustments. Yes. Uh, yeah, I got a permit. I got a permit like two years ago. He's got the permit. I gave him the $20, but they haven't, uh, they still haven't given me the, the paper for it yet. They were supposed to give it to me that same day. I gave him $20. Oh. I, I said, what about the permit? And, she said, just go ahead and do it. She said, we get you on record that, and we'll get you drawing. So she said, you'll be all right. Just go ahead and do it. That sounds so fishy. Did. Oh, uh, it's a small town, honey. It's, they don't make a big deal out of it. Yeah, they don't care. If it, was, if it was a city, it'd be different. But it's a small town, so they don't make a big deal out of it at all. Okay. Same guy who, hey, what do you think of Blue Boy misappropriating your uh, your your line that you didn't give today? Um, I think that's a bad move. Bad move. That's gimmick infringement. That is gimmick infringement. You know, uh, can you? Why don't you go ahead and get, since you didn't give everyone one, why don't you say a special hello to Aaron W. and then give whatever that stupid greeting is that you do. A special hello to Aaron W. We about to get all up in ya like Benya Benya, and we ain't talking gala gala. I bet people are going to start hating that. The more you sound like an AI, the more I hate, <laughs> the more I hate doing this show. You're supposed well, to, what if I am an AI? Androids are supposed to sound you, more human the more interaction they get. You're I'll going see. the opposite way. But see, that's the way you try to trick people. You, <laughs> <see>. <laughs> you try to do it the backwards way. <laughs> this is some reverse Benjamin Button Android bullshit. I don't like it. Bro. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And also, your animation shitty. <laughs> I was going to say nothing until today. Same guy that writes off the permits for the for the fires is the same guy that does the permits, the building permits. So he, I guess he's like the chief of police of uh, the fire department too. Because <clears throat> there's no police department here. The police department is scouting the police department. It's actually sheriff's department. Wait, how did you have the permit already? Did I have the permit already? I had the permit like two years ago. You paid twenty dollars. Why? Because I started it two years ago. But then I couldn't finish it last year because I wound up being incarcerated. I thought it was for me. And it was. Well, it is for you now. I started building it just with. Now, yeah, because. I had to, had to build How something. Was it, from before? it was for Wendy before. Well, I can't say it was for Wendy. It was actually for me before because it wasn't even for Wendy then. It was for Wendy. It, well, it, it was for me. Then me and Wendy. When I. When I decided to build it, I don't think I was even with Winnie when I decided to build it. I know I wasn't, I wasn't with Winnie because I built this. I don't uh, it. This, uh, I mean, it's, I'm sure someone who does like psych, you know, really can understand psychology and all that, or 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 is good at the interpretation of things. There has to be something to said for this dream closet that Lauren has been planning for multiple women, but hasn't been able to start or finish. Right. Mm -hmm. He's not, he's not talking about a dream home or, or fixing his, like it, it's, it's the most mundane. It's a closet. Who gives a shit? It's a closet. That was like at least two or three other people's closets. That's, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's, is it, is it worse than regifting an engagement ring? When you're talking about yeah, some dream, 
<laughs> That's <Some> worse. <laughs> Is the the engagement ring is worse? Is it? Is no, it the, the, the 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 closet is worse. The closet that doesn't even <laughs> exist. Because at least the, at least the engagement ring is something tangible that that has some value, uh, to 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 something. But like this is nothing. This is just talk. You're passing on this bullshit dream, this pipe dream, and assigning it from one person to the next. It's useless. It is pointless. Oh, we got a donation. Um, evil old Nuggie said. Slothcat is going to be reduced to a couple of flash drives by the end of the live. <laughs> Just two 32 megabyte flash drives uh, on a on a stack of coupons. What are you doing with those? For the furnace. Thank you, Nuggies. And after I built this closet for the furnace, I, I looked at it and I said, I can put an extension on, on the bedroom. Okay. Because I've got no, no good closet in there and no room. Uh, put anything. Katie, go lay down and be good, please. Silly. I I thought I've got no room in there. Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Stop being a fucking dog. I've got no room in there to put my clothes or anything like that. And I just needed more space. <laughs> what the hell? What? Small. <laughs> what is he talking so about? That's what I decided what to the hell build. Is he I wasn't about? even with Winnie when I decided to build it. Okay. Don't get mad, baby. Why are you wonder, wondering about that? Oops. Oh, well, it's weird you said for Winnie immediately then called yourself. Um, I taught myself because I decided to build before I even met Winnie. I, re I realized that. Yeah, that I, I built. When I decided, it was after I decided to build it, I actually started building it <laughs> when I met Winnie. I had all, all this backtrack, all this backtracking on the closet. <laughs> what is his point of even telling her this whole story of a closet? Well, because well, she asked because the closet comes up a lot, so now you want to know about the closet, but the. The thing is, is that he's telling the story when, again, he should know that all of this is is available. All of this is available for anyone to to listen to and go back. And as someone who lies so much, he should also know he's not good at it, so he forgets a lot of his lies. So he should just assume, you know what? I'm not. A, he should just everything should be centered with. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm almost positive I built that for myself. And and he should just start it that way because it'll be so. It, as soon as she goes back and listens to the call, and it was for Winnie. Then he just becomes a liar again, and then you're right back at square one. I had already put the the concrete in the ground for the post to sit on. Yeah. And I, I started the frame to one. Mm -hmm. And then I met that's when I met Winnie was during that. And I told her about it. She she wanted it she uh wanted it to be her closet. <laughs> I I said that's fine because you know, walk the closet women so, I never heard of somebody doing so much work so, for people he never met before in his entire life. Well, but but that is, I mean, Lauren has a lot of love languages. They're all fucked up. But in one of them, in his mind, in his romanticized mind, one of his love languages is, I'm not going to take care of you financially, but I'm going to give you all the things he wants to build a Barbie dream house for his. For his woman, ideally, if he had the money, if Lauren had the funds and the skill, he would build his woman a, a big Barbie dream house because that's how he sees woman. Woman wants a walk-in closet. They want chandeliers in the closet with the windows so they can look out at the fucking because there, you know, there would be a pasture with some wild horses running through it at his Barbie dream house. So that's how he that's how he would see woman. So he's going to do those things that a woman will want, like build a big walk-in closet so she could put all of her fancy frilly clothes in it. You know what? I think if he had money, he would actually buy land, build a house, and give it to these women. Why? Do you see, you're, that's why you don't know shit, right. and this is why I agree right. that you're a bad co-host. If Lauren had money, he would immediately give it to some Nigerian because that Nigerian was going to turn that money into even more money. That's what he would do. And then he would be right back where he is in that trailer, <laughs> waiting to hear back from the from the Nigerian president. Uh, with his check, it's just 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 got to tie up a couple loose ends, and Lauren's going to be even uh, richer. 
the Nigerian prince of France. Yes. <laughs> Nigerian prince of France. I mean, I mean, when he didn't work, and now it's it's yours. It's going to be built the way you want it. Are you going to cut a hole in the wall? For what? I get, am I going to put a hole in the wall? For <laughs> window? For access. <laughs> what? For what? For access. For, for, uh, yeah, Access. yeah. Where the where the where the window is right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's where I'm going to put the hole in the wall. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to more holes. I actually thought about putting bifolding doors there. Oh, so that way he gets in there and everything. We don't have to put a, a, a duck vent in there. Oh, that's a great. Idea. Like that. Yeah. So th that he can go through the bifolding doors. And, uh, I mean, why stop there? Since you're just making it all up, why not do heated diamond floors? How nice would that look? Why not just, you know, throw in a chandelier and a fountain? Oh, now that's now that's fancy. Now, but a good fountain, not not something that's going to get the clothes all wet with humid. Just put a dehumidifier in there, build it in. Okay, it'll it'll be like a little grotto. I thought it looked nice with bifolding doors too. Yeah. But I have another idea to run across you. What's that the Roy just... Uh, Roy will be folded doors. What's that? Just no construction stuff. The heat will go through B-folded doors. Yes, yes. Yeah, the heat will go through bifolding doors because it's like vents. It looks like a vent. Bifolding doors, they're, they're wooden. Actually, I can take a picture of it. For you because I've got them outside. They're real good. They're outside. Refine or something. Okay. So I can take a picture of them for you so that you can see what they are. Ah, uh, a door that is like a vent. That makes sense. Why can't yeah. he just say, I'll take a picture of them? Why does he have to say, I'll take a picture? It's like he adds extra words. He's already so boring. He can't tell a story and he adds extra words and details that don't. Just, hey, you know what? There, there, there's these doors. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. I'll send you a picture later. No need to explain and then say, I'll send you a picture, dot, 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 so you can see what they are. Bitch, that's implied. That's why you're sending the picture. <laughs> Stop adding extra fucking words. It, it will when you see it. I know you've seen them before. But Roy mentioned something to me today. Frank yeah. Lloyd wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did you get the doors? Uh, no, well, that's not your fucking business. I think I bought the doors at the auction. I think. I think when I went to the, when I went to the auction, I bought the doors there. But Roy mentioned something to me today that could change the, that that I could do. Um, he thinks that I should start right up to, from the peak of the roof and go all the way down instead of just going like I did on the on the uh, on the furnace closet. Because if you look at the picture that I tell you on of the furnace, where, of the closet where the furnace is at, there. I don't you know what roof. you are saying. <laughs> Man, he'd just be okay. rambling on and on. Right, like, so I'm, 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 I'm listening, and I already don't know what he's talking about. I, I'm, and I'm not gonna, just, I'm not gonna go back. But I, li I have no idea what he's been talking about. Just take the picture and send it to him. Like, what, what is all of this? You don't, you don't seem to, you don't seem to understand. Well, the longer, and I, and I really do believe, the longer he add, the more words he adds, the longer he keeps her on the phone, the less dicks are are running up in you, like binya binya. See what I did there? I see what you did there, but you know, that was like implied. You don't supposed to actually say that. But see, hear how I said it with some like emphasis, not like I just woke up right before the stream. Well, I, I didn't. This is just how I talk about default. <laughs> but not by default. <laughs> after 
Not by the, after you got destroyed, destroyed by Carl Weathering in a loser leaves town match. Hey, I was way more chipper and way more um, eloquent. My... <laughs> <laughs> I was way more chipper and way more eloquent with how I talk, you see. <laughs> He was totally different from this. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I can't wait till the Netflix documentary comes out about Carl Weathering tombstoning the, the British out of you. Um. Okay, I'm going to have you do this. I, I took some pictures that I was going to send to you because I was going to oh run the time. Oh my God. Uh, hang up and let me send these pictures to you. Then call wow. me right back. Finally. Then call me right back. Okay? They, they call me right back. You hang up, but I have news. What's your news? I'll tell you later, hang up. Wait, wait, but when are you calling me? Baby, call me right back. Hi. Lebanon. Show me pictures. You see the pictures I was was talking about? No, I saw some different pictures. You yeah. saw me. Like, pictures. what? Can you hear me okay? I see them, but I still don't know what you were explaining. Okay. You see that little closet on that very first picture that I show, uh, that I sent to you? That's the furnace closet right there. That's the closet that the furnace is in. You see how, how flat that roof is? Hold on. Hello. Hi, honey. I happen to know George Glass is a very, uh, a very hateful, intolerant person. So he will not, uh, he he will not have any. Don't be putting your left leaning bullshit on on George Glass. That guy is full of hate, right, George Glass? <laughs> George, right, George Glass. I got you, George Glass. Okay, this flat roof. Hey, can you see it? You see yes. how flat it is? Okay. That that's that's how flat I was going to make the roof. <laughs> But Roy mentioned what? something to me today <laughs> oh my about God. bringing it up to the this man peak can't even of, take of, pictures of the, the right the way trailer. that he got to explain pictures now. But like, but like, then bring- who cares? If this is what you have to talk about, you have nothing to talk about. Nothing. That whole absence makes the heart grow fonder. Go do, go live your life. And then when something interesting happens, you'll have something to talk about. And then this person will want to talk to you because you have interesting things to say. This is the this is watching paint dry. This is you describing watching paint dry. Okay, well, I'm still looking. The paint's still wet, still looking wet. And then every second you're just updating as it's looking a little less wet until it's dry. That's what this is. Every conversation is just fun. It's just quantity time, quantity time. And you just have to keep throwing little things at him every, here and there hoping to get a reaction to turn it into something. It's like it's like Jesse. Just got you on the phone just to have you just on. Just to have you. <clears throat> just to have you. Bring it down like that. So that way it wouldn't be so flat. And then I also thought if I do that then I can make a vaulted ceiling in your closet. Would you want that? A vaulted ceiling? Yeah, in your closet. Yeah, what- <laughs> <laughs> you know what a vaulted ceiling is, right? Vaulted ceiling in the closet. No explain. You have a you have a fan duct taped to the duct taped to the roof, but you're gonna vault the ceiling in the closet. Vaulted ceiling in the closet. 
Hmm. With a what? literal ceiling what? fan. It's a, it's a closet. It's where your clothes live, not you. <laughs> Where it goes up at an angle, <laughs> so so it's as high as it can be. Okay. Oh, well, absolutely. I can get two rows of closets. It's more for locks. <laughs> it makes so it so it feels more open. It actually goes with the pew with the with the pitch of the roof. It just keeps going. <laughs> you want the closet to not be open. You want it to be. <laughs> And but like, but it's like, but he's like, it's gonna follow the pitch of the roof, so it's gonna be angled. It's gonna be who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Stop! What movie did he hear? Like, see this type of thing from? Like, this just this just sound like something a normal human. I, you know, I bet he. You know, up. I bet Lauren gets those uh, like home and garden type magazines you know the free ones where they were because it's all advertisements from companies at the at the truck stops and shit and he probably looks in those fantasizing about his big barbie dream house he's gonna build for his woman one day out by the lake because you know he wants to live by the water but you know it, it has to be the right lake or some bullshit he wants to live by the water with this with this three dollars in the bank absolutely you want me to do that? I think you'll like it a lot better. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Okay. And I got... I got Roy to make me a list of stuff that I need to get at Home Depot for the... So we can hook up the tub and the shower and and um and the wash machine and there's uh, where your makeup desk is going to be <laughs> it's going to be up against the wall but behind that wall attached to the to the master bathroom there's going to be another little room that's for laundry. Oh my and god! We'll put the what? put the washer and dryer in there. Oh my god! That way, it gives more room in the master bathroom for sheets and towels and and uh, whatever stuff you want to put in there. So we can make an extra closet in there. Sounds that sounds good. And we'll be able to separate, have a separate room to do laundry in. It'll be just a small room, but it'll still be a separate room, so it'll give us more space. Hey, do you know how Will got? Am, do we find out how Will got? So, because I've only heard little bits and pieces of this, I don't, I don't like to listen to these um, because I want to live react to them. But do you know how Will got amnesia, or what happened so that he got amnesia? Do we find out? No, I don't. I don't know. You don't know. Does uh, Does anyone in the uh, he got tombstone too? You think You think Carl Weathers got a tombstone? <laughs> too, and he got amnesia. I heard Carl Weathering. There's now. Here's what I heard. He scratched off a lottery ticket, got a substantial amount of money, and now he's just going around the country tombstoning folks. Is that true? Is that is that true, or is that fake news? That's that's true. That's okay. I'm going to say that's true. And that now, so you, like you you guys are like fools counting down the days until Lauren comes for you. Could you just just know you never know when Carl Weathering is going to show up. Uh, and he's not affiliated with the LW or anyone else. That man is a free agent, a free agent felon, <laughs> just tombstone it. And don't think he's your friend when you first meet him. <laughs> he's going to give you a handshake, but then that handshake is going to like turn into like an arm wrestling match. Sure, he's going to do that kick to the, that kick to the stomach that Stone Cold does before the, before the stunner. <laughs> Yeah, before you walk away, you're gonna turn to walk away, and he's just gonna pull you back and kick you, kick you in the stomach, and that's it. That's the setup for his finisher. Okay. And what was your news you were gonna tell me? It's not good. Oh no. Uh oh. Not now. 
What happened? Well, it is, but it isn't. It is, but it isn't. Will is awake. Huh. Well, that's good. That's great news. But what's the bad news? There has to be a but. It can't, it can't be easy. So why isn't it? It can't be. Why isn't it good news? I don't know if it was from his hard stopping, but he is having memory issues. Oh, no. No, we're not banning any. No, no, no one, no one, no one's getting banned. No one's banning conservatives or, or liberals or, or any or anything else. Uh, I was I was just I was making a joke saying that George Glass is just an all around hateful person of everyone. Uh, and no, I, 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 I can give a shit um, about any of that. Let's let's just laugh at at the pedophile, uh, the robot, and sloth cat, who is also a robot, but nowhere near as quick as Jamie Amy. Again, much I I have a, a much a much worse sloth cat is running on Windows two thousand. I'm more so of a, a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. <laughs> You just, know. just making slow, <laughs> slow jerky movements. <laughs> just making slow jerky movements. <laughs> Little did you know, this is a tape recording. It just automatically syncs up with you what you're predict, saying. Because you just predict I'm going to be talking shit the whole time. So that's a pretty. That's actually a pretty safe programming choice. Yeah, cool. A little bit. How much has he forgot? He forgot everything, but not. Does he know who you are? Oh, he knows who I am. Yes. Okay. Okay. What does he not know? Oh. Oh. I have a feeling it's not going to be good. <laughs> he has a few facts turned around in his head. Uh oh. Like what? Hey, uh, Sloth Cat, we got a donation from Pee Wee's Burnt Pizza. I'm donating to help Will cure his amnesia. Well, first of all, thank you for that. But second, I hope Will never gets his uh, gets his memory back. Because I love that Lauren's life is nothing but 80s and 90s TV tropes. How many people... I've known a lot of people in my life, like, from... You know, from just living life and military, like I've met a lot of people. I don't know one person who's ever had amnesia. In I don't even know if this was the first person to have amnesia in in Lauren's career of being catfished. I mean, it's all tropey. It's all tropey. There's there's children showing up, um, people getting stabbed on vacation, swimming with polar bears, and getting stabbed by swordfish. There's just every fucking trope you can imagine. At a kid, there's been one. And and now someone has amnesia. I, I love like, it. Why why would he believe such a thing? Well, but it's just, like he it, believes so many things. It, like. Exactly. You know, and you would after the first time, after the first time you were fucked with so much with just the Ramona thing, you would think that he he would be so skeptical. And he's so skeptical of Alex Jones. So nothing Alex Jones says can be real because he doesn't believe any of that bullshit that's ridiculous but no problem believing that that will has amnesia for whatever you reason wanna, you don't want to believe in things that make some other guy look good yeah those are all falsified you know that stories can't be, that can't be real and then we got another one from a uh, dsp so th thank you um thank you for that then we got another pb's burnt pizza we got one from dsp historical society that coward Carl Weathering slapped the black off sloth cat. Wow. <laughs> he slapped the black off. No, it came back. It came back, but I did hear that you temporarily lost the black right out of your body. I did temporarily lose it, and uh, due to how I sound now, it didn't change things. People <laughs> thought I was just a white person now. <laughs> you know, I was just like, okay. But I'm telling you, it's not true, officer. Oh, Oh geez, this is gonna ruin me, Chris. <laughs> this is gonna ruin me, Christopherson. <laughs> why? Why would they do such a thing? Oh jeez.
Thank you, uh, DSP Historical Society. He thinks you and Winnie are together. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> no. We're going to straighten him out about that one. Did you tell him they, uh, that you, uh, that and, you and me are engaged? are engaged? Oh, God. No, you definitely got to straighten them out on that. Yeah, yeah, that's whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, why would he think that? <laughs> of course, of course, Lord, Lord, this is like you know, just any season of growing pains. This could have happened on. Uh, any any fucking threes company. This is a threes company episode. This would be a two parter though. It would be a two parter, and Janet would hit her head, and she would wake up with amnesia and think she was engaged to Jack, and and they were gonna get married, and it would be and it would end with uh and it would end with Mister Furley doing something. I don't know. I just I just wrote a Three's Company episode, and and this is this is what Lauren's believing. I love this. What a simple, what a simpleton. Just a simple-minded person. So he's, damn, they, 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 she just told him he had amnesia. Damn that. Why would he be thinking y'all engaged? <laughs> he, has, he has to have gotten dumber over the years because I'm telling you, like, yes, Lorne is dumb, but the ASVAB, in order to get into the Air Force, you need the highest score on the ASVAB to get into the Air Force. I'm not saying that ASVAB is like some crazy hard test, but a lot of people fail that shit. Like when I when I went to MEPS, there were people who had taken that test three or four times. They, they saw practice books to, to pass the test. Lorne would have had to pass this test. So he, he at least has the capacity to learn some sort of book knowledge, however limited he may be. But the fact that he is this, is it that he's this dumb or does he just want to believe so badly that these people exist that any scenario they give him it has to exist. Otherwise, it's all fake. And then it was all, it's, it's, so it's that sunken cost fallacy. So you're sitting at the slot machine and you just keep putting in money more and more and more because you know at any minute it's going to hit. And if it doesn't, you just lost $400 rather than you just invested $400 into the 50 grand that's about to pay out. Like, is that what this is? I think that's what it is, man. He, um, he can't take a chance of it, of nothing not being real in this situation. So Will has amnesia, and 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 the and the thing is, is that so Will wakes, and I you know, again not knowing where this is going, Will wakes up with amnesia and believes that he is engaged to Jamie Amy. So fucking what? He's not. He just thinks. So he's not even allowed to think that he's engaged. <laughs> you don't want to think. That's the first thing that yeah. he needs for y'all to fix right now. Right now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get the doc. Get the doctor. Call call Emma. <laughs> get the doctor. Uh, call Emma. Anyway, y'all can put up some of those calls. Where's Matilda? Like at this point, he probably thinks Matilda's still real. Call Matilda. Matilda wants to get all this shit figured out, baby. Uh, Uh, (laughs) Oh, he's growling. Where's Roy? Did you straighten him out about it? Hey, Cat G. Or did you just let him believe it? Jamie, you're taking a long time to answer. He wouldn't listen, and I didn't want to shock him because of him dying twice, so I went with it. He died twice? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoop. So Will, at so, something happened, Will died twice. Will died twice. They were able to bring him back and stabilize him, but he has it. He's, he had some loss of, some loss of memory. So let me guess, he's not gonna kill him. My man's died twice as amnesia. He should be thinking he engaged to her. Well, not well. Now we have a separate issue, Sloth Cat. See, because again, uh, a little bit simple minded with your reasoning there. Not only does he think it, but Jamie didn't immediately fix that shit. She didn't shut that shit down. She let this man who came back from the grips of death twice, she allowed this man. To believe that they're engaged so now he is sleeping probably dreaming about making love to Lawrence fucking woman now you tell me is that okay yeah if he has amnesia and and dad toys 
and this and this is why you get this is why you get fucked up by Carl Weather. This is guys, this is an example how you get fucked up by Carl Weather and dumb shit like that. Well, you, you kind of have to listen if you're telling them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He does it. He Have is to asleep listen. beside Sorry. me right now. Whoa, he's asleep beside. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Lawrence, you gotta get now. him straightened out on that. <laughs> but I have no idea why you would think that. Will died it by. Oh, that's, that's a good Are there any other than anything else that he has mixed around, or is it just that? Why would I let him believe it? I don't else? like what you're implying. No, honey, that's not what I'm saying. He's fine. It's fine. You're already told him. He doesn't remember Wait, Lair or Rhoda. Really? Really. Wow. Oh. You have his phone? He sort of remembers Debbie. You have his phone, right? Yes. Okay. He's got pictures on his phone, I'm sure. Is Dr. Is Dr. Doogie Lord Armstrong about to fix Will's amnesia? I think so, man. Now there are the, I'm now I'm assuming. I'm assuming there are people in the hospital who probably are working. There are people who are trained to work on this kind of thing. And it, it, if with real case of amnesia, it's probably a delicate situation. Lord, the Lord's gonna fix. Lord's gonna fix it right now. It's gonna fix it right now. Give me his phone. Give me. We're gonna give, show him. Give me the four truth. minutes. Give me four minutes and, and access to his screenshots. I'm about to fix this motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on, doctor. Doctor, stand by. I'm a pedophile. I'll show him. Hold on, doctor. It's fine. I'm a state certified pedophile. I know exactly what I'm doing. No, he when he doesn't. Rhoda and Lair. Huh? Huh? No, he doesn't. He doesn't? Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, that, fit, that there goes that. He's stuck. He's he's I'm gone sure forever. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that would affect his memory. Listen, of course, I'm not a doctor either. So. Yeah, well, I mean, let's get back to the sl- the roof talk. Oh, this, this crap is upsetting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he told me before we started working together that Winnie broke his phone so he had to get a new one. Lost all his photos. Mm. Now. That would have been, been so easy. Well, Lauren, they had, <laughs> what about some familiar sex? Maybe that'll jog his memory. They had this sex. is upsetting. Now he's gonna be oxygen to the brain when he died is what they said. Well, that makes sense. Maybe his... Oh, jeez. His memory should come back, though. He's sleeping like a baby cuddled up on my arm. Cuddled up on... Whoa. Uh, guys, speaking of cuddled up on your arms, if you are listening later... Let's give a shout out. Can can we get a bang bang for the for the replay gang, Carl? Oh shit! <laughs> How dare you? How, How dare, dare you? Call me by that <laughs> infidel's name. Can we, let's get, can, can we get a bang bang? Bang bang. Thinking of the holidays. Say bang bang. That's hot. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's hot. Hot? Uh Uh-uh. Buy one, get three free. Now that's hot. Come see the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. Oh, cool. Her hot. Come see Boom Boom for your fireworks at Fireworks Outlet. That's That's hot. hot. 
SpongeBob at a nightgown. SpongeBob at a nightgown said that woman is blacker than Carl Weathering's soul. That's a bully comment. It's not a bully comment if it's true. It is true. That woman is very black. <laughs> I would love to know what her face looks like. Says says SpongeBob in a nightgown. In your arm. Why is he cuddled up on your arm? Uh, uh. Bye That's bye. That's hot. <laughs> yes, I told you he got into my bed. Whoa! Now they're sharing a bed. Oh come on! God damn it, Jamie. Jamie, what this the man hell? Damn about this Jesus dude died Christ. twice. Yeah, no, no, yo, this dude's about to die three fucking times if he don't get up that goddamn bed. Who he think? Look, I don't give a fuck who he think he is. He laying up in your adjustable hospital bed with you? Uh uh-uh. uh. And you know that the nurses are probably coming in. They're like, oh, that's adorable because I'm sure they would like they would allow that. What what kind of bed does Lauren think that she's that she's laying in? He never been to a hospital before in his they, life. You don't know are, how they work. They probably got them one of them heart shaped hospital beds with the magic fingers where you put the quarter in it and it vibrates for you. Lauren knows what this is. This is fuck hospital. And at fuck hospital, they let things like this slide. Lauren's only ever been to the base hospital, which is decidedly not fuck hospital. He's got his own bed. He's he in the hospital. Yeah. Why is he in your Damn it. Well, they got bad insurance. Same shit all <laughs> over again. Got Cinco insurance. <laughs> God damn. I'm so fucking sick of this kind of shit. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know how to tell him not to be in your bed. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you just let him get in your goddamn bed? That's a good question. Why would you? Unfucking believable. It is absolutely unfucking believable. He thinks I mean, I'm his he wife. Doesn't, I told him he and he wouldn't listen that, um, and started to cry. He... That is weird that a man who just died twice is walking around getting in different beds. Like, you don't think that's weird? He don't. He don't even. He doesn't have time to think about that right now. He doesn't have time to think about the logistics or the or how logical any of this is. There is a. There's a man in bed with his. Did you not hear that? You got time. Okay. All right. Imagine this. Imagine this. I'm gonna give you the, a similar scenario. You wake up. You wake up in bed, and there's a man standing over you with a knife. Are you gonna think? How did that man get my kitchen knife? Uh, why is Carl Weathering wearing a mask standing over me? Are you immediately just going to defend yourself from this life with some sort of judo move? Well, I'm going to defend myself. Okay, so what is Lauren doing right now? Look, that's a totally different situation. How is it a different... No, no, this is the same thing. But instead of the death of him, this is the, the possible death of their relationship if she don't get this fucking man out of her bed. You got no compassion. You don't understand what, I, what it, I, you don't I, understand I, what it means to be a man. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> if that's what it means to be a man, <laughs> that's what it means. You just don't know. Well, that's everyone, a crazy person. Okay, everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone just confer. He don't know what it means to be a man. Uh, ones in the chat, if you agree, that's a lot of ones. Wow. He said I didn't love him anymore, and it made me cry. It doesn't mean that you let him in your bed. He didn't do it. He <laughs> fucking Christ. Oh, this, this shit is foolish. <laughs> I've never seen any such bullshit in my fucking life. <sighs> it's fucking horse shit. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. You know how to tell him not get in your bed. His voice is getting so high. To tell him to stay in his bed. But just roll him out of the bed. He's in the hospital. God damn, I'm fucking so tired of this shit. Yeah. He's just sleeping. What's the problem? I don't give a fuck if he's just sleeping or not. What was I to do? It calmed him down. I don't care if he is just sleeping or not. That's not the point. Mm -hmm. He has his own bed. You're in a damn hospital. You guys have already been through it. You you do enough shit to fucking overload my brain as it is. <laughs> what? 
He was confused. Call me when you get him. His brain is, his brain is, his brain overload. is overloaded. You know, his brain was full. Of, well, earlier today, his brain was full of plans for this closet with the vaulted ceiling. And, and and then you went, this was a bathtub, a 10-gallon bathtub with 10 gallons of water in it. And now you just went and poured a whole bunch more with this bullshit about amnesia. And him thinking that they not only does he think they're engaged, she didn't correct him, and they're cuddled up together. They might as well be engaged. This man said, "You overload my brain. Overload my brain. I can. My brain can only take so much. You should know better. You know better than that." What was I tell me when you say that? <laughs> you get it him. Calmed him down. No, he doesn't care. Call me when you get him out of your fucking bed. Calm I'm down. fucking tired of this shit. Yeah. Oh. Hello. We'll wake up. Uh oh. We'll wake up. And he said, call me when you get him out. See, he was want to wake up. Oh, he liked dying. Will, 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 Will. <laughs> I think this dude liked dying twice, if this is what I'm it was. Like, this, is, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's on, on, uh... Dude. What is the problem? He's just sleeping. He's not supposed to be in your goddamn bed. Yeah. He has his own bed for a reason. You're my fiance, not his. If he tried to get in your bed, you should have told him no. Regardless right. of him crying or not. He has clothes on not and he isn't he touching me. He thinks so much like a little kid. Like that's a kid mindset. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean he's he he was definitely stunted at some point in his development as far as what well, that that's when i'm talking about him wanting to build his woman a barbie dream house I'm, I'm not joking i mean i really feel like that's where his development stopped when he's telling the story about having to get a kiss from a, a girl having to kiss someone else on the basketball court because he got a kiss from two from two whatever like to Lorne, that was probably the if that actually happened that was the ultimate experience for him like not only did he get a kiss from two girls? But it led to you know, it's, th these girls had to like give someone else a kiss because he was jealous. Of them. So Lorne was the alpha in that situation, and and that was that was it for Lorne because even the way he he groomed Kayla, that's not just how he groomed children. He still treats women the same way. He he talks he talks about pets and and he wants to send pictures and he wants to send pictures of his dick and it it's it's all very it's all very very juvenile and and he's it stopped developing at 11 or 12 years old mentally a hospital bed is not very big well yeah, that's how close they are how can he not be touching you i mean inappropriately oh the that's most true. foolish things happen with you guys. That's true. That is true. Unbelievable. Foolish. That's a new word. Where have you learned that? Some bitch, I bet. Will, 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 he's, will. Not, he's not moving. Oh. <laughs> that was. Oh, hey, 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 Beyonce. How's it going? <laughs> hey, Beyonce. Hey, Beyonce. <laughs> so, this is the first time Lorne is healed. healed. Lorne has heard uh, Will's voice since he came back from the dead twice. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what you would say to a person after something like that. You know what I mean? Look, he, don't, he, he don't care that he died twice. He forgot all about that. That's no, not right now, that's that, irrelevant. You're, you're talking about old shit. He already done come back to life. You're talking about, you're talking about old shit. <laughs> Jeebus did it first. Okay, let's move past it. No one's impressed. Let's move on. He he already undertaken it twice already. <laughs> okay, he okay, he did it. So what? So what? What are he, he going to do next? 
Oh, fucking A. Oh, we got an, another donation. You need to get in your own bed. Uh, we got another donation. Ramona's Diaper said, Wes, check out, check out Flea Market Montgomery, long version. It really grooves. I want to say I played that because um, I'm very familiar with that one. But I think I got struck for that. I'm, I can't. I have to look and see. But I think I got struck for that one before. So I tend to look for things with um, that are that haven't been played as much or that I know won't get me struck. I'll have to try that one again. Thank you, um, Ramona Stiper. Uh oh. You fucking bad. Lorne, you are on speaker. Go ahead. Go on. Why are you talking? Hey, Will. Why are you talking, Lorne? Will. Hello. Jamie is not you. Hey. Hello. Hey. (laughs) Can you hear me all right? Hey, I don't. Can you hear me all right? Hey man, I'm so glad to hear you like crazy. I'm so glad to hear you hear you up. How are you feeling? Like, what was it like? Do you remember anything? You know, I would have. Do I have so many questions? I really would. I don't know if it's insensitive or not, but if if this was a friend and someone that I knew and they came back from the dead twice, I would have questions. Like, and it would be crazy that that this happened, and I would want to discuss this. I don't think the first things out of out of my mouth would be. Guess what? Hey, hey, that's my. That's not. That's not your fiance. That's okay. okay. For, first things first, bitch. <laughs> that's not your fiance. Get out of her bed, okay? She's my fiance. My. <laughs> that's just not. That's just not the first thing. I I would just have a lot. I would. I don't know. I, maybe I'm just a more curious person than Lauren. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? He forgot how to hear too, motherfucker. Can you hear me? Hey, Lauren, it's Will. <laughs> hey, Will. How's it going? Jamie is not. Jamie is not your fiance. Can't even get him uh, a Jamie chance. To just Jamie is my fiance. Yes. <laughs> no, he just stuck it right in. There was zero foreplay in that conversation. He didn't, he didn't even like he didn't even lose any space the, between the he hello. Didn't even lube it up. It was just the hey, BT Dubs. That's my fiance. She is not your fiance. <laughs> um, no. You and Winnie are together. Yes. No, you I and got Winnie her a one thousand dollar ring, and I got <laughs> down on one knee and proposed to her at a boardwalk. That, well, you did that for me. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've what? ever heard. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did did Will and oh, propose man. to Jamie for Lorne? In, yeah, I'm, in... I'm, I'm guessing that's what happened. Like, Lorne had Will propose to Jamie <laughs> for him. So now he has amnesia, and he only sees that he proposed. To that is some, this is a 90s rom-com. This, but, like, so but Will would be the assistant to a celebrity. Lorne would be the celebrity, right? The, he's the country singer who was never a pedophile because it's a rom-com. And, and Will's the assistant who is a good-looking dude, but, like, for whatever reason, he's just never really had luck with the ladies. But And while Lorne's away on tour, he would have Will be, like, the stand-in romantic partner for him. And so when it came time to get engaged, he, Lorne would be so callous. He, He's supposed to do it himself, but he gets stuck in Paris doing some bullshit. He's cheating on her, and 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 Will would do the stand-in, and then he would get amnesia and think they were actually engaged, and she would fall in love with him when she realized that this was the person she was meant to be with the whole time, and it would be called the stand-in. Mm. What do you what do you what do you think? Now, does Lauren come back to the states and try to murder though? Lauren comes back to the states and gets arrested at a Dateline Stinghouse. It just it oh, just okay. goes then it follow yeah. it follows it's the dumb. same timeline. Okay. <laughs> Can I no, talk to Winnie? I haven't talked Winnie. to her in a while. I know. Is Winnie She's there? In jail. What? Winnie is in jail. Nobody knows that. What'd she do this time? She didn't do nothing. Well then why would she be in jail? Jamie's ex boyfriend was at her house. What? When he went home, when he, Jamie's ex boyfriend. Jamie, why was Derek, your ex boyfriend at your house? Derek. Ex Derek. Jamie's ex boyfriend, Derek, was at her house. And Lauren, when did he she left, hit you? 
Did you put her in jail for domestic violence? Well, I'm in Maine. You know that, right? Yeah, I assumed Winnie was in Maine by now. No, Winnie's out there. She was waiting for you. She was you crying guys are her, together. Calling her. No, you and her are together. People are saying he had Will by the ring, too. What call? Does anyone know what call that is? We got to do that call now. Does anyone know what call that? Because I I haven't heard that one. He had Will buy the ring. Will bought the thousand dollar ring and proposed, and he had Will getting a tux too. So what would he expect for him to? He ain't even being reasonable. All I want to know was was Matthew Broderick in the movie? Did Matthew Broderick have a role? Because this, I mean this this is this is a rom com. I love this rom com starring starring Lauren Armstrong. Oh, and someone asked, have you ever seen Bully Free at Discovery West? Um, I don't know what that is. What is Bully? Do you know what Bully Free is? Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think I know what that is. I know what that is. It's like okay. a, a Bully PSA rap song <laughs> by a dude dressed in, I think, a bear suit. I think. What? No, I haven't seen that. Oh, it is at a school, and you can tell the kids did not want to participate. Oh, we had this. We had this dude come to my school and rap about Jesus my freshman year. And I went to school in the ghetto, and he had cowboy boots on, really tight jeans, and really long hair. And he was rapping about Jesus. And then someone tried to make him freestyle at lunch, and he pretended like his microphone was broken. I remember that. But no, I have not heard that. I'll have to look that up. Thank you, uh, Richard Roberts. No. Calling your ass off no. you were in ICU. No. Yes, <laughs> no. yes, well, yes. No, we've yes, been well. together for a long time, Lauren. Well, it's only been a few days. A few days of what? You've been in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in a coma. No. For about the last three or four days. <laughs> yes. No, I've been yeah. here with Corona. Been in there with Corona, but it, it put you out, and you was in a coma for a few days. What? Oh it put you out. You was in corona a coma put you in a coma. Yeah, yeah. That, you was in Corona. You you had Corona, then you was in a coma. Uh, but now it's time for you to go home and and get away from a woman. So that's that's basically that's basically Corona led to the coma. So did this? Is this what led to Lauren's? Fears, rampant fears about about COVID, or or was this just because of his the fuck with him because of his COVID fears? If anyone knows, because I think that's hilarious, like his worst his worst nightmare. But it happened to Will. That's true. Yes. What? You actually you actually died for about five seconds. Wow. What? Yeah, you were dead. You actually died for what? about five seconds. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Yeah, no, did. and you've been yes. in a coma. Um, uh, this is uh, this is why wow, I uh, <laughs> my head is spinning right now. I, I, oh, I no. well, it's, un- I feel it's dizzy. understandable. Listen, <laughs> I feel dizzy. Listen, well, oh, listen. I, my <laughs> I feel dizzy. Look, I, I'm, I'm, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on before before you get sick. Before you get sick, I need you, I need you to hear this again. Uh, I, you know, I, I, this is probably not the way they recommend that you break the news to someone that they, uh, that they've been in a coma or that they have, uh, that, that they have amnesia. This probably isn't the way, um, Noel, Noel said worst of the worst, which is it's most worst, not worst of the worst. That sounds like a, that sounds like a bully name. I sent an anonymous tip about the, the pizza shop, the TLI pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. I think most people just stood idly by, despite the knowledge that TLI's family had a pizza shop that was nothing but pizza explosives and surveillance equipment. It's it's weird. It's weird to me, uh, if if you ask me. So thank you. Thank you for being a great patriot. A <laughs> great patriot, Noel. Um, I'm glad I'm glad sweet Noel's here today, not salty Noel. Uh and and look, Kat G said Colin is stunt fiance. He does need a stunt fiance. And I don't think Lauren would have any problems if you said like Oh, and some days I'm not going to be here, and I've uh, I've hired a stunt fiance that'll that'll take my place. It's common in France, and he'd be like, "Oh, okay, I got my stunt fiance today." I think I might throw up. <laughs> that sounds real. 
Sorry. Disgusting. Sorry, fiance. You all right, Will? Sorry, fiance. Yeah, I just puked on my fiance's chest. <laughs> okay, but she's not your fiance, Will. <laughs> yeah, my is. fiance. No, Will. <laughs> yeah, she Listen is. To no. Me. no, Will. No, she did no. not. I proposed to her. I remember it. <laughs> you, did, you, you did that for me. That, I that is, that, Lauren, that, that yes. sounds so stupid and made up. I don't even know you. Will. You're just trying I to trick you me to, to get that. to my fiance. No, I'm not Will. When he has when he has been to the hospital to see you when you're in ICU. No. I haven't yes, seen Winnie has. in months. You haven't you haven't seen Winnie since you've been in the coma. No, I haven't seen Winnie in months. It's been about four days. No, it hasn't. It's been months. No, it's been four days. It's been months. Fix your fucking brain. Well, you've only been in the hospital for about a week and a half. No, I've only been in the hospital for a couple days. Do you remember Cashew? What did you call me? <laughs> Do you remember Cashew? Is she... Hang up on this piece of shit, Beyonce. <laughs> no. Hang up on this piece of shit. <laughs> Cashew is your raccoon. Is Winnie's raccoon. Your Why raccoon? would we own a raccoon? Man? That is so stupid. <laughs> well, I tried to tell you that, but you... Wanted to let Winnie do what you want. Oh my to god, do. whatever. Look, he's he's jogging your memory. Up. Shut the fuck up. Let him jog your memory. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this guy lying to you all the time? Why are you even talking to Lord, Lord, the Lord is Lord is mad at him for having amnesia. <laughs> oh my fucking word. Get your fucking memories back. <laughs> oh, he seems mad at him. Well, Winnie and is I mean, in jail Will right now for suspicion of murder. What's that? I said, Will has a point. All of that sounds stupid. It really does. <laughs> sound Lauren, stupid. Lauren, you're saying it out loud. How does that sound stupid? <laughs> so you lied and got her arrested for murder. What'd you say? She killed Roy? No, listen. Listen. Oh God. Damn. Jamie's ex boyfriend was at Jamie's house when Winnie was there. Okay. Then what happened? He what? took care of. He took care of the raccoon for Winnie so that she could go to the hospital to see you. She went back, mm -hmm. and Dirk had uh, shot up. Who uh, gets heroin? Dirk. Jamie's ex boyfriend Dirk had mm -hmm. shot up heroin. You know Dirk. And he overdosed, and he died, and and Winnie was there. And I was on the phone when when she walked in and saw her. What? And she hung up on me. She's panicking, trying to wait. What? What? He doesn't think this sounds just ridiculous. He's just saying it like it's nothing. Like it's a common occurrence. It's like like he's it's like he's describing a movie that he saw that was on that was like the most ridiculous shit he ever saw like just one stupid ridiculous scenario so he was on the phone with Winnie when she happened to walk in and find Jamie Amy's was it Jamie Amy's ex Dirk who had, who, was, who was dead <laughs> and now she's in jail because of it it doesn't even make it's like he watched so much like TV when he was a kid he think that that, that he lives how in, life works well, uh, yeah, and you would think with the way that with the way he's so willing to believe these things, you would think he never actually saw the outside world, that he stayed in Cornville, Maine his whole life and had very limited access. But that's not actually true. He was in the military. He went from he, he went from, I'm sorry, he went from uh from from Lackland Air Force Base in in Texas to wherever his tech school was. And then he went off to a base and and then he was in Washington he said he traveled all over. The, I know he did. He traveled all over the country. He was fired from a Denny's in Oklahoma. But how? Well, you see, by that time, if he was already too far gone. <laughs> That's the story. He was already, he like too far gone, like at twelve, like about about it's twelve like, years old. He, he was already he's, out. He's been in a stupid bubble this whole. And so, like the only things any knowledge is kept out, but the only things allowed to pass through this force field is just dumb shit. Dumb shit. That's it. Nothing else. Keep that smart shit away from me. I got a force field. Pick her up. Oh, sorry. Well, what? That's my fiance. Shut the fuck up. She's my fiance. 
<laughs> God damn. Shut the, the fuck this up. This guy just fucking does an overload, Jimmy. Uh, how, how could you even overload. possibly let this stuff happen? How could you let this happen? Yeah. Yeah. What, how was that hot fault? Let, just can, fucking unbelievable. How can you let this happen? Why are you blaming me? Well... You hey, want to hey, be that buddy. fucking close to him. Listen, you, you want to be that close to him. Hey, Jamie. stop yelling at my Beyonce, you piece of shit. Hello. Why are you blaming me? You want to be that close to him. Then what happened? Now what? I told him he doesn't remember. There's nothing I can do. And then he's trying to put his hands on you. Why did you call him back? When did she... See, now he's talking to you like he owned you. Hey, Lauren, it's Will. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I think I think there's something wrong in your mind or something, but I have to ask, like, put a little distance between Ooh. you and Jamie. I think you guys are a little... <laughs> Will, you have your wife. Jamie is my fiancé. You... Jamie, I don't know what the fuck to do about him. You know, you want to be this fucking close to him. You want to be so fucking close that he could fucking actually make a mistake I like this? Did you call me? You, you wanted to be so close to him. You never even considered that so this man could get amnesia. Like this. You never even considered that he could get amnesia and wake up and think that you belong to him, did you? Never even crossed your mind. That's why I, I run every scenario. I run every situation through a thousand scenarios. Including driving to that stink house, that sting house, and getting arrested. Uh, I ran through every scenario like Doctor Strange, and they all ended with me getting arrested. So I said, "Fuck it," I said, "Fuck it." Sprinkle cakes in the movie would be called "While You Were Creeping," and I really like that name for the movie where, um, where Lauren is the country superstar and gets his woman taken by Will after the amnesia. Um, and uh, and then we got a donation from Polynomial Purbred. Polynomial Purbred said, I could never narc on TLI's family pizza shop. The jalapeno pizza was banging. But, I mean, it supports terrorism, Polynomial I mean, do they have delicious calzones at affordable prices? Yeah. And do they have some of the best surveillance and explosives in town? Absolutely. That's why I highly recommend that for all your explosive pizza and surveillance needs, you go to the TLI family pizza shop. I love it. Now, let me ask you this. Do they serve deep dish pizza or thin crust? Um, it's it's a Middle Eastern crust. I don't know what that is. It's figs. <laughs> figs? <laughs> Look, man, report these motherfuckers. <laughs> report, report them. <laughs> it's a pile of figs covered in delicious pizza topping. <laughs> no, report them, man. I, I can't. Look, report them. They make a pizza wrong up in that. Hello? <laughs> Oh, oh! You'll pick up my my Beyonce's calls, but not mine. Uh oh. Hello. Okay, sir. Just please stay. <laughs> One person per ten minutes. All right, man. I'm sorry. You're you sound like a pretty cool guy. Thank you so much. I love your fiance's tits. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love your fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pause. I love your fiance's tits. I asked. I'm I'm a big fan of Tim and Eric, so I watch Tim and Eric's bedtime stories. And there's this character named Angel Boy, and this nurse sounds exactly like Angel Boy. And I asked Reborn. I said, "Was that supposed to be him?" He said, "No, it just couldn't sound like Will." So I just want to let you guys know that Will has two voices: regular voice or this voice. Two voices. I can do two voices. I can do my voice, or I can sound like this. Man, that's <laughs> the man that's of my... a, the man of a thousand voices. Reborn, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I can at least do five. <laughs> but they all say everything like it's a question, so no one wants to hear any of them. Okay. Okay. That's just what you hear. <laughs> that's just that's just what you be hearing. Okay. <laughs> really weird. Can you leave? Lorne, he can't Jamie. remember. Give him a break. Jamie. Be understanding. What's really wrong him? with you? What's Be understanding when he's trying to put his hands on you? Yeah. Really? 
Then you let him use your phone to call me. Who almost died all to, you think about is yourself. I tried to explain to him he doesn't want to believe me. <laughs> I tried to explain. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy about him putting his hands on you. He can't remember, Lorne. That is the point. I know. That's why I tried to explain to him. He still doesn't want to believe me. Then why would he listen? When I, when I say it plain as day. I mean, just um, imagine, in, in, in Will's mind, this is real. So if you were to just wake up one day and tell Lauren, you were never arrested. What are you talking about? You were never arrested on Dateline. You're, and and people were telling him this, and he and he was telling them, no, you're you're fucking wrong. You're fucking wrong. That's your reality. That's This is what you believe. So him trying to... For, for 30 seconds or whatever, if Will woke up and in his mind he has a lifetime of these memories with, or, you know, however many years of these memories with Jamie and they're engaged, yelling at him about it, why would he just believe? Why would he just believe you? Yeah, seriously, I know he's a simpleton, he but how? Just, he, he should just believe him because it's best for Lauren. I, I mean, there's a reason believe. There's a reason why TV tropes are TV tropes. It's because it's the lowest common denominator in TV. It's real fucking tropey. So when you're adding in amnesia plots, it's because even morons understand an amnesia plot. Oh, someone lost their memory. They have they retain some memories, and something's gonna jog their memories back. Every any moron can understand that. But you would think that because you're a moron, you would also understand that you don't know the intricacies of the brain of how it works. So you would you would be more willing to believe. The, okay, I can't fuck with. The, I can't yell at this person into remembering things like there must be some complicated procedure you have to do this is some shit where this is where you bring in the the voodoo guy with the chicken foot they're gonna bring they're gonna bring will's memories back but you have to hold this fucking beak in your pocket but lauren's just gonna yell at you hey oh were you gonna say something sorry no i'm about to say nothing oh, okay He doesn't remember it that way. Well, that's his fault. As many years as he's as he's had, he grabbed with Winnie, my phone. I didn't let him. As many years as he's had with Winnie, the only one that he should be remembering as his wife, or that he has any kind of relationship with like that, is Winnie. But that's not how amnesia works. Well, you haven't seen every sitcom. Even Full House ended with the amnesia and amnesia trope. Like Michelle fell off her horse or some bullshit. Lauren probably watched a lot of Full House. Actually, I can see Lauren watching Full House. I'm upset that he's like this too. Yeah, it's yeah, not. It's not Will. They were separated when you and her were together. You don't control how he sees things, Lorne. That's so stupid. Well, no kidding, but the only he's been with Winnie so freaking long. Since they were in high school, he, Winnie's the only one that he should ever remember. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, so Lorne, now Lorne's going to Lorne, tell, tell you what he should be remembering and how it should be working. Um, B Blue Boy, I'm sorry. Yeah, Blue Boy, because he's not on tonight. Blue Boy wants, to, wants you to do your punk pantsy impersonation. Oh, my punk pansy voice. Okay. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, I'm punk pansy. And we about to have a rooting tooting time around here. Hey, hey y'all. Say something about Celsius. And Wes is going to try to have me do a Celsius read. But that's not going to happen because I'm not Jesse. Hey guys, if you need to get your house painted and you hate bullies as much as we do, call this, call this, call our next sponsor. I can give you the best quote around. Just open the door now! Daddy, daddy, daddy mommy's being bullied! <laughs> Don't get bullied by the competition. Call Sam Catania Painting. What do you think? Uh, uh.
Oh, are they selling? What I don't understand what they were selling. They were just throwing stuff. <laughs> that's when you, I don't get. <laughs> that's when you make a commercial just because someone tells you you should make a commercial. Because uh, I've seen that commercial many, and I, I don't remember the name or what. It, but they, it's painting. They're gonna run through walls, Carl Weathering style, and paint your house. That's a bad commercial. That at what? Yeah, I would yeah, think got, that would be for like. To tear like Bill, down like, well, I would think it would be like you know bill <laughs> bill collectors or something you know like hounding you so you get these people who are going to stop bullying not painting I've never dealt with a painting bully though uh, about five more minutes on part one before we move on to to part two here and then don't don't forget next week we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have blue boy on and and hopefully hopefully honest will join us uh for 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 a monegro's Monday <laughs> Might be a sign that maybe you and him are too close. Emma, he Emma? doesn't remember Lair and Rover. That's upsetting. What's your point? Stop making this about you. Well, it is about him. I'm making this about me right now. I'm just pissed that he put his hands on you. But he has amnesia. Yeah. That's upsetting that he doesn't remember Lair because he was crying before about Lair. Jesus Christ. I'm in a hospital bed and you just blamed me a handful of times for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that. I let my emotions override my brain. That's all. That's all, brain did an overload. That's all it was. Girl, get a little overloaded. Freaked out a bit. Now I rebooted. I'm good. Shove your sorry up your ass. Whoa! You better control. Oh, all. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Listen, Jamie. Sometimes you are so rude and selfish, you just lash out without thinking about others. I'm not selfish, I'm in love is what it is. I just told you, I let my emotions override my brain, and yeah, I am sorry. Just accept his excuse and move on, girl. What's wrong with you? Yes, and blamed me for will not remembering. You are the ridiculous one. I agree. I let my emotions get in the way. That's it. okay. Can we you move put on now? Hand on you, it just made me lose it. You are telling a man who can't remember things what he should remember over other things. Yes. So you see how stupid that sounds. Well, when you put it like that. Yes, I do. Then I shut up about it. Shut the fuck up. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Why is he singing? Got to be something that can jog his memory. <laughs> like now. Saying sorry makes everything okay. Where did you learn All that? Right, do it. Uh, how long are we going to have this same conversation where you bitch me out? Well, he's done. Jesus. So now that he want to move on, they yeah. just need to move on. They okay. Shut the fuck up. Move on, girl. What's wrong with you? Is there something that we can jog his memory with about He's yelling at me. Oh, you said sorry, now I forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Oh, well. Oh, Jesus Christ. George Glass, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> George, George, did you chase him out of the restaurant? <laughs> You did this face your actions. I was about to yelling say. at me for something out of my control, and you call yourself a man. Oh, she, she's challenging oh, me. Really, you really want to say that, huh? You want to say that, too? You really want to prove to you that he's yes. a man. <laughs> you okay? Unbelievable. I just sent you a picture of my dick. 
It's fucking tech bad on the worst. I just got a text. I got to hang up so I can see if it's Even my Even a guy with memory loss tried to stop you from yelling and blaming me. Speaks to your character. Move. Jesus Christ, Jamie. Can't you stop? Stop what? I just got a text. Jesus probably Christ, my blow long come to you. I just got a text, and it's probably my blow test. I need to check and see. Busy man. I'll text you right after. Yo, not I have a meeting. Not I need. I'm gonna take the dogs out. Not I need to cool down a minute. He's like, yeah, listen, hey, some of us have shit to do. I have a blow test I have to do to prove I'm not an alcoholic. Okay, we're all very busy people, girl. I'm gonna holla back. It doesn't make like, you, that's it a doesn't... normal like that's <laughs> just a right? normal <laughs> thing <laughs> that people do and talk about. Remember, some of us got arrested for being pedophiles on national TV. Okay, gotta go. Damn. Woman, act like I ain't got shit to do. By the way, guys, there will be a new Unsung Zeros uh, this week. I'm doing Kazoo Akutsu, the, the feigning dude, the, the dude who fainted and hit his head. And I got I talked to to Hanson on this one because I had a question. I had a, a theory that I wanted him to, to prove. And once again, he was wrong. Uh, in my opinion, Chris was wrong. But yeah, that'll be out this week. So be be watching out for that. I, I see don't you, okay? give a shit. All right, figures. Well, this call was brought to you by the Lawn World Order. That's not the stamp of a quality they think it is when they approve that Sika bullshit that opens the show. Uh, all right, so that was uh, that was that was call number one, and we're about to move on to call number two. But before we do, uh, hey Slothcat, where do you go if you have bad credit, if you're on welfare, if you're on Social Security, and you need some furniture? <laughs> you gotta go see the special man you gotta go see the special man guys as always this stream is brought to you by johnny's furniture are you on welfare or social security are you newlyweds no problem come see us i say i say i say this is frankie and johnny's a place that lets you have it with no problem i like to buy a bedroom set do you have any credit no i receive social security and welfare you have to see the special man with no problem I like to buy a living room set. Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have to see the special man. Let her With no problem. I say, I say, see Frankie and Johnny, he's a credit man in town for only $50 down if you push you in a living room set, a bedroom set today. See the special man. I got the $50. Let her With no problem. I got it, I got it. With no problem. I got it, I, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, with no problem. Why did Wes uh, do this to your bike? I have no credit and no bike. Now I need a bike to get my meds and I'm on welfare. Special man, let him have it, no problem. Whatever that means. Let <laughs> <laughs> me just read that whole thing. Bro? All right, all right, no, call. Now we're on, uh, on, now we're on to part two. Hold on. Full life. No, no, no mo LWO. Guys, can, can I get a no mo LWO in the in chant in the, in the chat, please? Thank you. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to like the LWO. Moderators, can we uh, please ensure that we get a no mo LWO chant going in the chat? Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Done crying being called out for your bad behavior. What? Jesus, Jamie, you're going to start right then, huh? Yep, just start right up with it. You know why I didn't call you back? I was waiting for you to call me, but I wasn't going to call you back because I was pissed at being fucking bitched at for so long. You said you were going to call back. 
Yeah. I figured I didn't call back right away. You'd call me. Oh, so he's Usually playing. I call and you don't answer. So he's playing games. All right. What are you hiding from me? Yeah, well, what are you hiding? I'm not hiding a damn thing. I sent you a picture of what I'm doing. You want to hear hee haw? I'll turn it up so you can hear hee haw. <laughs> Tell me what are Is you hiding? Is he actually watching hee haw? <laughs> hey, that's hee haw. Answer me. Not hiding anything. Where, where, where would you find? Does he have hee haw on DVD? Where would you find hee haw? Uh, is he watching that like one channel? It's like that channel that only shows old it called antenna? stuff. Does he have? Does he have stre- streaming? Like streaming? Is he streaming TV? I assumed he just had. He just had like a an antenna. I didn't know he had. Some, so I didn't think he had streaming capability. He's streaming shit. I just want to know where the fuck he's watching Hee Haw because that. I mean that didn't that didn't come on a lot when I was a kid, and that was. That was the waning days of hee-haw when I was a kid. How the fuck is he watching hee-haw? Why is this man watching hee-haw? Oh, why is he why is he choosing to watch this? <laughs> I'm not hiding a damn thing. Who are you talking to? You girl, who are you, you talking to? I'm not hiding anything. I was pissed because you bitched at me for so long. I bet that wasn't even a blow test. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it was. And you, and you know, I can prove. Do you know what Blue Boy says about a blow test? What? Blue Boy, get in here and say it real quick. You can <laughs> still suck a dick you. without a voice. <laughs> you can still suck a dick without a voice. You can still do your. You can still do your blow test. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, if Blue Boy says it. It was matter Someone of fact. It was the second. It, it was the second text to the same blow test because they sent it a half hour earlier, and I almost fucking missed it. Well, that's your fault. Oh, well, no shit. I couldn't hear the damn thing come in. Why I don't know. It's the second time that's done that to me. The fucking volumes up as high as it can as it can go. Okay, all right, Lauren, move on. I know, whatever. Well, you just, it's just... You are such a baby. Jeez, you're just going to start right back in. going to make it a real good night, huh? Yeah? Let her have it. Let her have it, Lauren. I'm seeing a lot of LWO for life. That's not what I asked for. That's not at all what I asked. When mom was raising you, you were never disciplined, ever. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Imagine that one. It's obvious. Imagine that one. Hey, we got a donation from a C C D C V D N. Um, no joke, the special man reminds me of Bill Cosby. Uh, I, for one, that's racist. Uh, but two, let, let's see. Kind of. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know if that review reminds me of Bill Cosby. I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say that's just a racism. That's just a, that's just a flat out. That is, what do you think, Sloth Cat? Is that, guys, one's in the chat if this man being Bill Cosby is a racism. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, C V N E. I think um, Bill Cosby can play him in the movie. The no, I don't think Bill movie. Cosby's going to be in any movies uh, <laughs> after what he did. I think Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby should still be in prison personally. But um, I, I mean, mean it's never say never. N- never say never. Uh, he can go to prison with no problem. <laughs> Thank you, C C D V N G. You can't handle any criticism or being called out for the things you do. You constantly call me out for shit since you've been in the hospital. Hospital. It's like I can't do anything right. (laughs) 
so anxious for you to get out of that hospital. I'm seeing, get a, lot, better. I'm seeing a lot of proof that CDNV, that was a racism. No one seems to agree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. You blamed me for Will's memory loss. That is your fault and that isn't right. That is but you throw up. pity parties and think I'm doing it for no reason. And don't face your bad behavior. I know what I did wrong. Go figure. I know what I did wrong and I told you I was sorry. That was my fault for doing that. I let my emotions get in the way. And I'm sorry. Everything can just be apologized away. Oh, sorry makes it all right. No, it doesn't because it's go. a repeated pattern of <laughs> behavior. Lord. You do this shit constantly. There you go. Oh, there you go. Triggered by something? You were sorry yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and nothing changes. Like I said before. But it's my thing fault. Is. Yeah, uh, someone mentioned Benny Hill. Did, did Benny Hill, didn't Benny Hill also used to come on Nick at Night at one point? I remember watching that show with my parents and there were a lot of women running around the lingerie on Benny Hill. Like a yeah, lot I remember, of women. I remember Benny Hill was just like sexual harassment. All <laughs> that's it. This, this like, all episode. And then he would like, harassment. and then he would like stare at the camera, make that little face. But it was like, <laughs> and, and I remember my parents were like laughing at this shit. Uh, my like, dad didn't laugh funny. at. My dad didn't laugh at anything. <laughs> my dad didn't laugh at anything other than like Benny Hill. And I think, I th I think at one point I fell down some stairs, and he had a pretty good chuckle. <laughs> he had a pretty good chuckle. <laughs> Uh, but we did have more than I mean, we we did have that one porn magazine in the household, so I turned out okay. I turned out okay. Like I said before, there's such Don't a it. thing as close friends and friends that are too close. Yeah, that's what, and you guys are too close. Oh, Don't spare God. me that shit. Well, you don't like to hear it. You don't like to hear it because you know it's true. That has nothing to do with the current situation. Uh, the current situation is you just want to continuously bitch at me. I don't think Laura watched a lot of Sanford and Son. You are the abusive husband that blames his wife for everything. Oh, I know what. Oh, I know what. It brushes it off. That's a pretty... To to, to be a... Um, if you're in a relationship and your partner calls you abusive and says you're, and says you're being abusive, if, if this is a relationship you care about and if this was something actually said in... And that would mean something to you. Like, this person is calling you abusive. They're saying you are an abusive person. And this is an abusive relationship, and he just blows it off. Ah, whatever. Um, I mean, that would that should be a pretty significant thing, unless it happens all the time, which means you're in a toxic relationship with this one person, or it's happened in all of your relationships, which means you're just a you're just a shitty person to be with. So it's it's one of those. Because the minute you're if you're in a relationship and your partner tells you that you're abusive, you would think that that would spur some sort of conversation about why they believe that or what's going on. Right. Or that's the end of the relationship. Yeah. Not, not with, um, not with Lauren, you know, um, you are but, obviously the problem. It's just, the, well, those are just the ups and downs of relation. You're, you're over exaggerating things. If you believe it's abuse, you don't know what abuse is because to Lauren abuse would have to be physical. He'd have to be hitting you and he can't do that because he's not with you. And he believes himself that he would never do it. And I didn't used to believe that Lauren could be physically abusive. I thought that Lauren was just emotionally abusive, and, and that would be the extent of it. But I do feel like, without alcohol, even without alcohol, if you came home 30 minutes late and, from work and he, he couldn't get a hold of you, 
and there was already some some dude there that he was suspicious of and you come home late and, and he's mad enough he would he would get physical and he would find a way to excuse it by well you know i i lose my mind because i love you so much and i can't stand the thought of someone else having you every cliche well, you know you know or you you shouldn't have did this and that because you know that would have made me you know well, yeah you. It, well, it, yeah. It, it, exactly it would be one of those cliche again the tropey lifetime movie things and he would deliver it the exact same way because he's seen it and heard it before I learned it from my brother, the foul talk. <laughs> but it was just a matter of fact that we don't call women the bees. Is this what I have to look forward to? You blaming me for all your problems and mistakes. Now look who's this here. what I have to look forward to? What's going on? What's going on, Hillborn? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, I mean, I you know that blue boy wasn't feeling well but what did you tell him what did you tell blue boy when he said he wasn't feeling well and couldn't work that night you need to get there and get that ah. money baby yep that, crack the whip do what you got to do oh and there's another um interesting comment here at cali uh, slime bucket witch lady i would love i would i would love to have a seat with chris hansen because i know chris doesn't fuck around I would love to. Oh. Well, why don't you want to sit down with him? <laughs> why, do, why do locals always think that they would have fun sitting down with Chris Hansen? Watch the Jesse interview. See how much fun she had sitting down with Chris Hansen. I'm not understanding no, like, why he would want to do such a thing. <laughs> like he would, he would love to. <laughs> that doesn't that make sense. Like, Chris Hansen is, you know, mostly associated with taking down predators. <laughs> So why would you want to be on the other end talking to him? Like, like automatically make you look like a predator. Like, like why would you? Why would you want to talk to this guy? Only there to, to be threatening me with you. Monkey see, monkey do. You are the one threatened. That's on you for being insecure. Well, you make well, me insecure by not making me more secure. Get it? So it helps. Uh, How am I threatening? Well, you boy, you've had to have Will too close. Give me actual examples. I can't think of it. You've had to have right Will too close the whole time. Not vague feelings. Give me actual examples. Yeah. Lauren, you have had Lauren should understand amnesia because he gets amnesia anytime he's supposed to tell the truth or bring up some relevant examples. So he should understand that amnesia, how amnesia works, and sometimes it lasts longer than others. Well, you see, his will. amnesia is different. He has a different type of amnesia. Because like he can't a... remember the lie. He can't, uh, You know what, baby? I can't remember the lie I told for that, so I'm going to go ahead and claim amnesia. I got I got the amnesia right now. Amnesia, I can't if you come back to me like three years from now, I will be able to tell Look, you. I can tell you something else. Yeah. I can tell you something else because I don't... I, I, honestly, baby, I got that short-term amnesia. I can tell you something else. It might not match up. I'm going to do my best, though, because I love you. I love you, and I would hate to not answer you by telling you that I forgot with amnesia so rather than do that and break your heart i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna tell you a lie maybe it's not a lie maybe it's a thing i told you the first time but i'm gonna tell you something because i love you that much baby he should just say it that way well too close all the time all the time that is your feelings give me actual examples Pretty much fact when you're calling us cock big and beautiful constantly. That untangible. Look what you made me do.
Although I said that jealous. twice and you bring it up all the time so it reminds me and I say it again. If you drop it, I wouldn't say it. Oh, all that, all that mentioning it and trying to make me jealous doesn't do a, no. any good at all. I'm not making you jealous. You bring it up so I talk about. That's it is all you talk about. No, no, it's all, and that's, an, he does that thing where he brings something up constantly, so you have no choice but to talk about it. Yes, it is all that we talk about because you are constantly bringing it up, and then you don't, and then you don't stop. So it's, it's, it's what I talk about all the time by your choosing, because if we don't talk about this, all we do is you ramble about some bullshit construction thing that you're not going to do, or some business that you're not going to start. That's all, that's all it is with you. That's not what I said. Let her have it. And no, I don't. Just about. Just about. Since you've been in the hospital, just about. You talk about far more than I do, Lorne. Like what? Oh, yeah. Come on. What woman do I talk about to you? Um. You bring it up more than I do, Lorne. See, he is so confused right now. He thought that she was trying to say, well, you bring up a lot of women, too. That's not what she's saying. She's just saying you bring this situation, you bring it up constantly, so we constantly talk about it. And he's like, what woman have I been talking about? No, you don't know anyone. What women have I been talking to? <laughs> You're lying. Like, you don't even understand what he's even being talked about right now. Right, like, you like, don't... you what? you. You can't go out in your local area and, and like no, you're a pariah. Who no, know? Of course, there are no women. Like, if any woman in his area was dating him, she would be known as the woman dating Lauren Armstrong. And who wants the pedophile? The woman dating the pedophile, because that's probably who he's more known as. That the creepy pedo in the trailer. They're like, oh my god, did you see that? Grace is dating that fucking pedophile in the trailer, that guy that got caught on that CBS show, because, you know, people have forgot by now. Uh, and they'd be like, oh, I, I didn't hear that, but at the church potluck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shun her. Just watch. And that's how that shit starts. Small town politics and small town living, no fucking way. No fucking way. Unless Lauren did become some big shot after after prison where he had turned his life around and now he had like some business and he's employing like he's a, he he has really turned his life around and he is a pillar of the community he might have a chance then because he is a reformed person but as this fucking pedal living in a trailer who is going to want to lose their standing in the community and being known as that person to be with Lorne? he's got no options you might as well just be with the the girl who is sleeping next to the dude in the coma or who just came out the coma who believes that they're engaged that's the best you're going to do it's the best it's gonna ever be. Right, covered in Will's vomit on her chest. Um, that should be a good hint to you that it bothers me. That is a pretty good hint. That is a pretty creative trick. <laughs> I don't know if that's a talent. That's not a talent, George. If you stop bringing it up, we don't talk about it, but you fail to see that point. You want to continue to bring it up to make some fucking point. Yeah, the point that you talk about it too much. How... If you bring it up all the time, sir, it's you. No, 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 no. You're overloading. You're going to overload your own brain. We talk about it too much because you bring it up all the time. Jesus Christ, how are you not getting it? When Winnie was in there and Wilf was first in ICU, uh, okay. you had even said to Winnie, 
something about Will's big, beautiful cock. <laughs> you talk about it too much. That, that would be a problem. But Should I complain like you and crying? Please. You aren't hearing the words that I'm saying. You're not hearing the words that I'm thinking. Is the, is the issue. You aren't hearing me. Special man. You only want to hear the things that you want to hear. You're not hearing what I just said, though. When Winnie was there, yes, I did. Nobody had even nobody had even mentioned it. When he put a guy's voice on the phone instead of a girl's voice, instead of a girl's voice, when he put a guy's voice on the phone, on the robot, and you said, "I want a big, beautiful penis like like Will's." Well, I mean, that can be read in a lot of different ways. <laughs> Nobody brought that up. You did. Lauren, Lauren, are you ang- Lauren? Lauren, are you anger stacking? This is this is a classic Lauren anger stack. My, yeah, I coined that phrase with with my ex because Lauren is at a point now where he's upset, so he's he's bringing things out of the filing cabinet that he's been holding on to. Uh, because it started out with I mean, he let's not forget it started out with closet talk, and and then it went to Will being asleep on her on her arm. And so while while this you know what and now let's bring this up, this thing that bothered me from a month ago that I that I was saving, until I was mad enough to where I, you know where I could I could put all my things. This is like a complaint box, you know the complaint box at work. If you mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be, you know this is this is right now he is emptying his complaint box and he's going to bring up everything that he's been upset about. This is TCAP Gaming telling you during his stream. Oh, and by the way, I think your I think your animation is shitty. Wow, how long you been holding that in for? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say I wasn't gonna say anything, but I think your animation. <laughs> Man, you should have told me that from the get go. You should have told me that from the, from the giddy up instead of telling him that you were a big fan and had his stuff in a playlist. Because now I don't know what to believe. Yeah, I don't know I what to believe. My head, you, the, I, my brain is overloaded. Head is overloaded right now. <laughs> overloaded. <laughs> Explain that to you three times now, and again you don't listen. No, of course. This couldn't be that you were doing something wrong. You forget what I say. <laughs> All right, no, no. Um, <laughs> you just want to believe what you want and ignore the fact. No, I've ignored. I've ignored a, a lot of the mean, horrible things that you've been saying tonight. But what's the difference between TLI and a turtle? When a turtle hides, we all laugh and say cute. When TLI hides, he's thrown on the ground, cuffed, and charged with war crimes. Hey, man, that's <laughs> rightfully so. Because if they're making that thin, that thin crust piece up in there, they deserve to go down, man. They have to be taken down. Um, that, Yeah, that's. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I enjoy that. Facts. You just don't want to see what you're doing wrong. That's all that that's all it is. Let's you just, don't want to admit to it when you do something wrong. Just look at my faults. She did literally nothing wrong in this. I just explained again for the fourth fucking time that wasn't me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, she did nothing wrong. Don't do turtle shit. So I'm not going to mention that it. conversation we had where I say, Lorne, I have to answer the same question over and over because you don't accept the answer. Someone, said it. I, someone asked. I was listening to Sundays with Cod uh, earlier today. If you haven't listened, to, if you didn't hear yesterday's, it was re- it was really good. But um, someone asked, "Did you ever want to like hang up on on Lorne, you know, and teach him a lesson?" And uh, and I and I understand why people would would ask that. That you you would assume because you're a, because you have a a sound, you know, probably a mostly sound mind. 
uh, if you listen to this kind of stuff because you make fun of Lauren, that's in in your mind. That's absolutely like you would you would you would learn a lesson from that. You may you maybe have learned lessons in your life that way. But that's what makes a lol cow a lol cow is that they they do the opposite. You know they don't they don't do the thing that that you would expect. So Lauren doesn't doesn't learn lessons like that's these never learn lessons. And even right now, this is a if Lauren would stop and go back and read and think about what he did, this would be a a, a really good time for him to learn a lesson but this people have been trying to teach him forever uh, tiffany lockhart was like free psychiatric was was a was a free therapist i can tell you're a therapist uh was, was she was a free therapist ramona did did some therapy there was an actual person pretending to be a therapist talking to lauren he's had nothing but but catfish trying to give him therapy everyone's been trying to teach him lessons he's, he's just you you cannot teach this old dog, uh, new tricks. He's this old dog is only interested in hee haw, three's company, and uh, you know not looking at children sing the national anthem. Those are that's what this old dog is into. Stop it! He's not going to learn anything. I mean, that's the whole point of a locale. That's right. Never learn. They just never learn. They just, just keep going and going and going. <laughs> that, that's it. But too many times it bothered me. When it bothers me, and I repeat things over and over about what's happened, mm-hmm. something is bothering me. Well, yeah. makes sense. That's why I repeat it. Yeah, I would never talk to Jesse. For- I'm not going to mention it again. Oh, he'll never mention it again. We're good. That way, you can't hold it against me. Oh, well, now... Now Will's touching her nipple. Isn't that cute? So the next time you that you say it, I'm going to point it out. He even laughed and said that was me. And you still fucking blame me. After Fine. it's been explained to you multiple times. <laughs> it's fucking Fine. pathetic, Lord. Fine, you, you bitch. Pathetic. It's fucking pathetic that it ever had to be in a discussion, period. Yeah, Casey's a therapist, too. They're all therapists. You have to be. Because you are insecure, that's the only reason. All right, I know. It's always something I do. It is. It's, it's my fault that you call this cock a big, beautiful penis. Well, that is. That that's is all my fault. fault. That is your fault, Jamie. Jamie. She just explained to him. Well, you it it her. <laughs> what did she explain to him? She explained to him that that wasn't even her. But that when he said it was her. Was she there when it was described? Yeah. Yes or no? Okay, hold on. Did she say, no, Lawrence Cock is better? No, regardless of who said it. When it was said, did she say, no, Lawrence Cock is better? Nope. Then she might as well have had the cock in her mouth, just wiggling it all over the place, painting a wall with it. It doesn't matter, Sloth Cat. If a cock is brought up, the only the only reasonable thing is to say is, I've seen better. And it's Lauren Armstrong. That's it. Anything else is bully bullshit. Okay. Look, man. Am I right though? I, uh, am I would that? How, am I right? Am I right? How would that not be the only acceptable answer for Lauren? That that would be the only acceptable answer okay. for him. So, so there you go. She didn't have to. Her lack of doing anything was the same as doing it. I'm just pointing out it's my fault. It's all on me. It's stuck in your head. You just mentioned his big, beautiful dick. That was you. I didn't say it. I'm hey. quoting you. Now, and now you're making her think about that big, beautiful dick while he's in bed with her. I'm quoting you. Yeah, she is. She is. That is I'm quoting you. Now we're all thinking about Will. You said it. Dick, right? Guys, everyone? Not me. I'm not. Wait, now you are. You have to I'm, be. I'm still not. Well, no, but you are because you're thinking about not thinking about it. So you are thinking about his big, beautiful cock. You have to. No, I would never think about it. I'm, I'm homophobic. <laughs> I would not think about that. <laughs> homophobic against homophobes. Homophobic, well, so I would not think about that. 
Okay. So. Does it really bother you that much that Will's dick is bigger and more appealing to well, the eye? No, this is an interesting comment. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm, gonna have to I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pause to read this comment from uh from from Outdoor Loser. <clears throat> I've seen about 200 poor white cocks in my day and Lawrence <clears throat> I've seen about 200 poor white cocks in my day and Lawrence looks pretty weird. <laughs> now when you say poor white cocks what does that mean? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Like, do you mean poor like is like, monetary were you, poorness? Were you or... like were you in a small town in West Virginia and and you were the the official cock inspector? Like, outdoor loser, please elaborate or don't, and let us just come up with different scenarios. Why and how you saw two hundred poor white cocks that you can compare to Lauren in your database of brain cocks. Um, <laughs> so, like how Lauren has a little the little Lauren's running around filing cabinets, pulling out different lies. Outdoor loser has just one filing cabinet, and it's two hundred dick pics. So, um, th- yeah, please elaborate. Thank you. Cox wearing rustler jeans. <laughs> yeah, outdoor loser's not a money girl. You telling me that his dick is more appealing to your eye than mine is? Seems to upset you. Seems to be how you feel. That is true. Seems to be what you think too. Only two hundred. <laughs> appealing to the eye of the general public. Thank you for correcting that. Oh, I got you, Outdoor Loser. I am part of the general public. <laughs> well, of course, you had to fucking screw it up again. <laughs> you had to screw it up again. We were... We were... <clears throat> yes, sir. What? We were... Uh-oh. There you oh, go, Fiona. For- you wanted. <laughs> I forgot. Ooh. I forgot Will was even there. <laughs> Hello. You are a fucking child. Can you stop being no. so pathetic? Don't over again and all. Depends on what fucked up bullshit is going to happen next. What are you talking about? There's always fucked up bullshit happening with you guys. Well, if that's the case, why don't he just stop? <laughs> why don't question? he stop? I've have, I've have a better question. How do you? How did he think they that you even come up with this? Because when I heard I heard about the uh, I've said it before, but I heard about the robot long before, like while it was still going on in the early stages, and it sounded like the dumbest shit in the world. How do you decide? Is it like you're sitting in there and you go, how do I keep talking to Lauren? And you're like, I don't know, I guess I can, a, a robot voice. And then you start, and then everyone laughs. And then you go, why not a robot voice? Like, seriously, how do you, how do you ever think that something like this would work? I'm going to use a robot voice so I can talk to Lauren. And this shit works. It's just that locale move. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Let's try. Let's just try a robot and see what happens. This, this get that. This has to be the end. If, if he, he goes for this, it's no way. So he would. <laughs> he would be. He would be willing to buy this. But I bet there would be like some small thing that you would expect him to just buy with no problem. And he and there would be there would be no way it wouldn't fly with him. Like because Jesse was the same way. There'd be things that the ridiculous fucking things she would she would believe. But there'd be some little tiny troll thing I would wanna I would wanna do, and she would just no. Nah, that's fucking. That's bullshit. That doesn't exist, and it would never go anywhere. It's crazy. You know, I'm I'm gonna be a robot. It's never ending. It is never ending. Bullshit is what it is. It came to him to dream. It came to, it came to him to dream like the song yesterday. Will told me to tell you to stop talking about his dick. He's straight. 
He doesn't care what you do, but he's not interested. He said it's for my eyes only. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. There you go. Well, enjoy your new fucking boyfriend. Did you straighten him on out on that? <laughs> Did you straighten him out? <laughs> Did it sound like she straightened him out? <laughs> I did, but he thought I was joking. So then they kissed. Of course. Of course. That's disrespectful. What? That's some pretty disrespectful amnesia, if you ask me. I can't help what he thinks, Lorne. Why do you believe I have control over his thoughts? That's childish. Never said you had control over his thoughts. I mean, he literally yes, you did. He actually blamed her. Blamed her for the state that Will's mind is in right now. Well, if you guys wouldn't, because Lauren is always saying you're bringing someone in too close. And, and I'm sure even before, as soon as Lauren heard it, the first thing he thought was, well, he wouldn't feel that way if you wouldn't have brought him in so close. And this is what I was worried about. And, and he never thought amnesia, like any of this shit would happen. But this is a direct result of her keeping him so close in his mind. What was a friendship has turned into him, you know, them being engaged. And if they are close and they are together, what if Jamie starts to think, well, why not? Why couldn't he be my fiance? Maybe I see him in a different light too. Because... That is what would happen in a romantic comedy. That's exactly what would happen in a romantic comedy. And they would end up falling in love and Lauren would be the odd man out. The jealous boyfriend who had been holding her back this whole time that she was engaged to. And and all these things in this stupid little scenario. Like this, this is this is what that's the life Lauren knows. No, I did not. I did not. I asked him if you straightened him out on that. <laughs> and I quote, you made him think that. That was earlier. Oh, God. I want to have someone propose for me. That would be him. great. Sloth Cat, what are you doing next week? When you were yelling at me and blaming me uh, for what was doing. Proposing. <laughs> uh, I'm free, you know. It'd be nice if you and I could have a relationship where this kind of shit didn't happen. That would be that would be nice. <laughs> <That'd> be nice. <laughs> you don't say. It would be nice if we could have a relationship where people weren't getting amnesia. Just normal, regular, non amnesia light filled relationship. You guys are talking about weird penises. You, uh, Jorn's, Jorn's, Jorn's penis that he wrote, that he wrote with a big pen, ma mac and cheese on his on his dink. That also does not get flagged on YouTube. It's in several videos, and it's also on a thumbnail uh, as devil horns, and it does not get it does not get flagged. He yeah, with a big pen. That's still I gonna write Damn. on your dick with a big pen. <laughs> They don't recognize it as a human body part. It does not look like a human body part. Oh, right. A relationship where I sit in a box and only get interactions with you because otherwise something is going on. That's called insecurity, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren, she has a point. Yeah, okay. Even for a woman, right, Lauren? There's a difference between insecurity and fucking shit that happens every time you turn around that's fucked up. You thought the nurse was doing something and I said something to him because I muted my phone. You are the fucked up on, not me. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, whatever way your bad behavior.
Don't reflect, just pretend it didn't happen or you were just in your actions. It doesn't matter. Everything I fucking do, you're going to point out and you're going to constantly bitch me about it anyway. Here comes the pity party. No, well, you whatever. Know, he hasn't been to a party in a long time, so. It's another locale thing. A lot of self pity for them. For them for getting in the being in the situation they put themselves in over and over. Like it's crazy to me that there are still people who feel sorry for Lorne. For like, oh I, it it's I'm sad. I can't believe that people still fuck with him and and pretend that they're in these relationships and they're cafe. How do you feel sorry for a person who falls for the same shit over and over again? And the most and the most ridiculous scenarios possible. How do you how do you feel bad for that? I have no idea. I know I don't have no idea how you can feel sorry for him after just listening to the decoy the decoy um, it, it, phone call. It, you know, and but okay, yes. But if Lorne had got out of prison, never did YouTube, never did ne- never did any of that, and he was just trying to live a normal life, and people were fucking with him. You would see how, or he'd apologize. Say Lauren came out and he apologized on that YouTube channel. He's like, I did the worst thing imaginable and I will never be able to live. Or he just admitted to it. He admitted to the shit he did. If people were still fucking with him, I can understand why people would think, hey, leave the guy alone. Like he, he, he went to prison, he, he paid his debt, and now he's even admitted that he fucked up and what he did was wrong. You, I don't think people would be fucking with him, but because he's never done that, like, how do you feel bad for him? Yeah, he did all of the opposite. He tried to justify it, tried to say how it's not his fault. And, and it's not like everybody else's fault. And it's not like he's a sweet guy and and we're just laughing. Oh my god, he's in love, ha ha ha, with with a, a guy playing a woman. It's not he's a he's a piece of shit. He is still he's very abusive and, and he's an awful person. So I just don't understand how people can feel bad for this man being in the situation he puts himself in time and time and time again. How do you feel bad for that? I don't know. I think those are like the type of people who basically think like how Lauren thinks. If you wasn't messing with him and putting him in the position, he wouldn't, he be. wouldn't have been acting out and doing the stuff he did. And, the, and those are the same people who, who are the apologists for the people on TCAP who say, yeah, but without if the, the tactics that perverted justice used to entice those men, you can't entice a person to go and have sex with a child who does not have an interest in having sex with a child. Exactly. Like, I don't like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, like, like you couldn't entice me enough to go and have sex with a horse. No matter how persuasive you are, you can't get me on a on a Yahoo chat room. I'm gonna show up at your barn to fuck your horse. And Chris Hansen is waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I, walk in, I walk into your no stable. I walk into your stable with a box of sugar cubes and some carrots, and I got my dick out. And Chris Hansen's like, "What are you doing here?" And I'm like, "I, I, I just came to ride a horse." Well, in this chat log. It says you were gonna put a sugar cube on your dick and have the and have the horse. Tail. I mean, yeah, I brought sugar cubes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, bro, is that illegal? I mean, is that illegal? I, mean, I like sugar cubes. I didn't. I didn't. I like to carry. I always have sugar cubes. You'd be a fool not to. <laughs> Lorne can do no wrong and doesn't want to hear when he does. <laughs> I have to agree with everything he says and every action he takes. Problem is, when I do something wrong, you don't stop talking about it. Otherwise, whatever. Can't get on a good subject. Got to stick right to that same one for an hour. Because you continue the same behavior. Uh, it's got the same kind of bullshit keeps happening there. It keeps happening. You keep doing it. Continuously. <laughs> then you have excuses. Oh, I know what. Oh, I yelled at you because of this or that, but I'm sorry. Until the next time.
Like you keep being up Will's big dick. Then I repeat it and you get mad even though you brought it up. I didn't bring it up that time, did I? Not that time. Not that one time. After, you like, I'm making a point, but you missed it. No, I didn't miss it. Man, this dude is stupid. Because the pity party is in full swing. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, good night then. Good night. Well. Hello. Okay, Lorne, here you go. Let's jar his memory. How? I didn't I tried. I don't know how. Well, do you remember the proposal? Hmm? Well, do you remember the proposal? Uh, yeah, we went to that pier and um, I was in a a nice suit that you bought from me, and you were in a very sexy dress. Whoa. Kind of revealing, but I liked it. Yeah, see, well, don't. Um, see, see, Will's a secure man. You can wear it. Uh, Will's the kind of guy you can wear your sexy girl, wear your sexy dress. Wear that dress that if we go and play pool, you need to be careful about taking a shot because you, you know, you can wear that dress with Will because Will is a secure man. He has a big, beautiful cock. You know, this is, he's a secure man with the securing himself and secure with this big beautiful cock and lauren on the other hand uh you can't wear that sexy dress with lauren because lauren is going to be worried that some other man with a big beautiful cock is going to just sweep you take you right away so that's another that's another if you were looking for reasons why you wouldn't want to be with lauren i would say that would be another reason why you wouldn't want to be with lauren you couldn't wear your sexy clothes so that's why he wants the big closet there you those would be high up in the top of the vaulted ceiling. All all the sexy clothes would be up there, so you couldn't reach them. And he swear he didn't put them up there on purpose. I didn't put them up there. I didn't put them up there. And 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 there's no chairs in the house. No, there's no way to get them. There's no way to get all the chairs are locked up in the shed. I got down on one knee and I said, oh. "Jamie, Amy, Booty, will you marry me?" And you cried. Wow. And said, yes, God, yes. And then hugged me. That's romantic. And then... Um, and we made love, girl. I mean, we got, like, we went to dinner after that. That sounds like a romantic or did night. we go to dinner before that? Dinner before. Dinner. Welcome, Dawn Dang. Yeah, Night. you know, it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> your hair wow. smelled great. Wow, she smelled like Pert Plus. Uh, you had high heels on. What Real color? classy. Um, what color? I think we had a limo that night or a driver or something like that. Limo. Wow, they went yeah, all out. So why are you asking? Lauren went all out. No reason. And they made. Oh. Hello. He remembers it well. I thought that would work. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers you proposing to you well. Why, did, why would she think that would work? <laughs> why would that work? <laughs> and then Lauren hung up? Then he hung up, man, because she didn't say, you know, we are not engaged, actually. He didn't, but he didn't even give her, he didn't even give her a chance. He, he just ran down the story. She could have been, she could have been waiting to say, okay, all those things you did for me, do you remember Lauren asked you to do them? We... I'm engaged to Lauren. Like you did those things on his behalf. I know it doesn't make sense now, but it will later. But trust me, we are not engaged. He didn't even give her a chance. He just heard what happened and heard how nice everything sounded and maybe realized that's something he could never provide. So he just hung up. 
I was like, holy, Lauren should have been writing those things down. That sounded like a, that sounded like a, like a really nice time. They didn't go, they didn't end up at the wits end in Scout Hagen though. So it was kind of bullshit. Well, you see, Lauren needs somebody else to do all that for him. He don't have the money to actually do that. That's what I'm saying. He should be happy. He had a surrogate man to, to do all these things for him while he, while he's basically in, you know, in a form of prison. Financial and location and geography based. <laughs> He's in two <laughs> kinds of prisons. Lauren? How could that possibly work? Well, he was oh, pretend he to be you, so I had the whole experience, but he seems to think it was us. What are you saying? That's what he did with Winnie? No. That's what he did with you. He did that with me. But he didn't remember mentioning my name in there anywhere. No, not at all. What? He proposed to you. <laughs> he didn't remember mentioning my name in there. Was my name ever in there I anywhere? Can't hear you. Why, why, would he, why would he remember his, as part? Why would he remember as part of all that Lauren's name? Like you know what? I think Lauren's name popped in there somewhere. For some reason. Hold on. Let me. Shit, I lost it. It was like it. You know what I mean? It was like a right at the tip of my. Oh, I almost. Maybe it'll come back. I saw Lauren's name flash in there for a minute. That's so. Why, why would? Why didn't my name come up? I'm not an important person. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yes. When he proposed to you, was my name? mentioned in there anywhere again oh okay not okay. in the proposal oh <laughs> wait 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 so now Lauren is going so it wasn't will you marry we get down on one knee and with people you know probably walking around and, and and clapping doing the thing that people do he got down on one knee in this suit and he said will you marry Lauren is that what he thought is that what he did he have like specific lines she was supposed to say on behalf of Lauren? Will you marry me? I guess so. Like, I don't, I, that can only be the only explanation. Cause if he just went and told him to just go for pose for him. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Like just, he would yeah. just go say, Hey, will you marry me? I guess. Do me, I don't... Do me a favor right quick while y'all out. Why can you propose to her for me? Can't post off for me. Like, go get a do me a, go buy a ring real a ring, quick. A ring, take it to you know, do the whole thing. Take it to do the whole thing minus the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Do all that other shit though. Do right, all get that other a, stuff. Get her a but card. Do, do they that. have engagement? Card? Get her an engagement card. Like, do that whole thing, but don't don't look at her. Don't look at her ass. Don't look at her vagina. Uh, don't touch her titties, and don't make sex with her. Other than that, you'll have at it, man. Enjoy your night. On some uh, Marcellus Wallace type shit. Yo, take and, my wife out. <laughs> go yeah, go money, to dinner and all money, that. <laughs> money is no object. Spend as much of your money as you as you want. You know what I'm saying? It's it's you only get engaged once this year, hopefully. So he proposed to you, and you told him yes. Well, I mean, in so many words. Jamie. Before it happened and we got to the pier, he said, pretend I'm Lorne. <laughs> pretend I'm Lorne? <laughs> okay, but right. he seems to forget. Pretend I'm Lorne. Oh, what if they had, what if that lasted all the way through sex? All right, now remember, we're still pretending I'm Lorne, and I believe that, and I'm just saying, I believe that if you were to just get engaged to Lorne, that you guys would have some sort of crazy doggy style sex. So while I am still Lorne, 
Don't you bend that ass over, girl? Do you think that's how it would have gone? Yeah. I mean, he, he did not? tell him to pretend he was Lauren. Pretend I'm Lauren, girl. So bend that ass over. Let's do the, let's do the damn thing. A, he didn't give a cutoff. You always got to get a cutoff if you're going to send somebody to do that. Not 15 minutes. You get 15 minutes or something. You got to do, yeah, you got to give a time. Guys, this is a, let this be a lesson to you. If you have a surrogate man hanging out with your woman, you need to set a time limit of how long they get to pretend to be you. <laughs> Ask him if he remembers Angela. He remembers the proposal well, but not much before or after. Ask him if he remembers Angelo in Florida. Yeah, that's a good, yo, that's a good one. Yeah, Lauren's going to figure this out. It was by proxy. Ask, Ask him if he remembers Angelo in Florida. Ask him if he remembers the chicken lady sketch from Kids in the Hall. Well, do you remember Angelo in Florida? Do I remember? Do I, do I remember who? He told me he would get a ring for you, Lorne. Well, do you remember Angelo in Florida? Answer the fucking question. Angelo? You mud brain. You... Jello? No. No, the one that took that took Debbie fishing. Yeah, just flood his, flood his, brain, flood his brain with memories. That should fix them. Flood his brains with, with people and memories so that he doesn't retreat back to the one thing he is sure of, which is that he is engaged to uh, to Jamie. But we got uh, Co Coctopus Prime is here, and Coctopus Prime said, Hey, most, I've been listening to your previous streams at work for a couple weeks. Glad to be able to watch live for the first time tonight. And then Sunglass Face, what do you say to, uh, to Coctopus Prime? Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um... I know it's rough to get through on streams when he's by himself, but wow. hang in there. You know, <laughs> hang in there. Uh, I was going to say, I was just going to be a bro and say, I hope you're ready to step up your game. Sometimes even the most alpha man needs a helping hand. The lone wolf searches for a pack, longing for something more. Because in a world full of betas, we need something to separate the men from the boys. A feral scent to tell the ladies, you don't just know the score, you invented the game. It smells like bacon and a basketball. That's good, right? It's not a scent made for a woman. But it's a scent made for women. You dig? What's it gonna be, playboy? You can either step up or step off. The choice is yours. Right, right on. on. I liked it. I thought. I thought. I thought yeah. that sounded. I thought that sounded really good. So, so Coctopus Cock, Prime. Step up your game. All right. Can we get I step my game up. Can we get back to the show now? Can we get back to the show now? Lord, Lord can I will just be put you on speaker? Yep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Capital K. Will, do you remember Angelo hey, in Lawrence Florida? Will. <laughs> hey, Will. Hey. Do, you remember An do you remember Angelo in Florida? The one that took Debbie fishing? The one that you beat up when Debbie was in the hospital? Uh, so much. I remember Debbie being in the hospital. I remember. Uh, do you remember my ex sister in law was in trouble, so I went and helped her out. I remember Jamie being there. I think that's when her and I, you know, 
I, I believe that's do you remember, one. Do you remember a guy that came in and kept bugging Debbie? Isn't his um, name was Angelo? James, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming to the stream and sleep. Well, I mean, by that definition, it could have been me because I know Debbie kept telling me I was bugging her. Do you remember a guy that you and I called the one, the one not wonder? I can't hear you very well. Learn the what? Oh, hold on a second. The, the peanut gender. Okay, can you hear me now? Did you say peanut gender? No, the one not wonder. <laughs> Peanut what, gender. What, is that like a baseball player or something? <laughs> no, that's good. That's <laughs> yeah, so explain the whole thing. Explain the whole oh, thing. Oh shit. All right, ready? Okay, first of all. <laughs> who is that? That's because Jamie took that's because Jamie took a picture of this guy and he only had one knot. You and I called him the one not wonder. Oh, I don't remember that. Are you sure that happened? <laughs> it sounds very. Oh, yeah. it sounds very rude. I don't think I would do something like that. <laughs> no, that happened. Oh, well, well, your whole personality changed. Your whole personality. This, I, this, the only thing that can fix this. I've watched enough sitcoms. No, the only thing that can fix this is another hit to the head, and then we get the old, we get the old Will back. But this Will doesn't seem to enjoy the same sort of comedy that Lauren enjoys. <laughs> that sounds kind of rude, Lauren. I don't think I'd like. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'll laugh or something like that, Lauren. That don't that's sound not, right. That sounds pretty stupid, Lauren. I don't think I... That sounds like something a pedophile would laugh at if you ask me, and I don't know any pedophiles. You don't remember beating that guy up? No, I can't even remember the last time I got in a fight. Yeah, well, he's a grown man, Lauren. He's threatening to fight people. That guy up several times. Was he T-Cap gaming? Oh, did I win? Well, yeah, you did. Oh, good for me. <laughs> You made him cry a couple times. Oh, well. I mean, I don't like when people cry. That's You're really funny. telling him the good things about himself. <laughs> he wasn't being very cool. You beat up a man and you made him cry a couple times. Now do you remember? <laughs> you got violent with some dude at the hospital. The, um, Do you remember that she's my fiance now? Press one if you remember she's my fiance now. <laughs> Come on, tell him some more things. You're it's he's almost there. His memory's at the tip of his tongue. If Lauren was in person, he would be trying to shake him. Just listen to Lauren. Sweet will. <laughs> Sweet will. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. What else? I don't understand these questions. I don't. This sounds like none of this happened. This sounds very cartoonish and made uh, up. Do you do you remember your apartment that, that you and Winnie had, in California, right uh, before right. You, you and Winnie went to be right before you went in the hospital? What? Before you and Winnie, before you and Winnie went to stay with Jamie. What? Before you went in the hospital for Corona. Do you remember your apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen Winnie in, in months. Yeah, if not like a days. year or so. No, it's only been days. No, it's been a year. That's, or so. why, that's why it I'm sounds like, Lauren, well, no offense to you. Um, <laughs> you know, I know you and I haven't had a great track record from what I can rem remember about you. Okay. Wait, but... wait a minute. Don't, tell me what you can remember. Tell me what you can remember. Um, well, you yelled at my fiance on the phone tonight, and that alone is enough to put bad. you on the shit list. Whoa. Okay, we have, this is this is why we're doing this, so this you can remember that, that Jamie's my fiance, <laughs> not yours. I remember. <laughs> look, look, I don't give a not shit. Nothing else. Just I that. Give a, I don't give a shit if you spend the le the rest of your life in a fucking haze of confusion. You will get one thing straight. That's my bitch. <laughs> My, that is my. I don't give a shit about the rest of your life, but you will know that one thing, Lauren. You couldn't sound more selfish. Cool. Uh, Debbie 
was talking to you and you made her cry. I remember that. Do you remember how long ago that was? No. It was over a year ago. Yeah, I, I okay. Do you Don't remember me. do you remember the other the reason that you were down there? To take who care you went of, down there with? To take care of my ex sister in law. Yeah, do you she remember no who you were down there with? Her. Do you remember who you were down there with? Jamie. No. Yeah, Jamie was there. I remember Jamie was there, but she but she wasn't there with you though. I'm pretty sure her and I had sex in the bathroom. Whoa. Right, Jamie? Whoa, hold No, that whoa. wasn't you. No, no, no. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't Jamie. How do you know? That was you, but that wasn't Jamie. Now why wouldn't why wouldn't that get Lauren's attention? Hold on. L what if she was lying to you, Lauren? That can't be. She wouldn't lie to him. She wouldn't lie about that. She wouldn't have sex with this man in the bathroom. She's better than that, right, Lauren? Like, like he, he that doesn't phase him at all. He is more. He, the fact that he just said that they had sex in the bathroom, nothing. But him saying that they're engaged when they're not, like in they are still engaged. Lauren is still engaged with this woman. They are still engaged, but this is the, that's the issue, not the fact that he just said he was fucking Jamie in the bathroom. Jamie, I'm pretty sure it was Jamie. He's pretty sure, Lauren. No, because I, I remember because I was on the phone with Debbie. Mm -hmm. That, uh, that was Winnie that you had sex with. Maybe. That was Winnie that you had sex with. Lauren, I don't know why you keep saying it was Winnie. I haven't seen her in years, and it's getting me mad. You haven't, it's the you haven't seen her in days, Will. I haven't seen her in years, Lauren. I'm trying to I'm trying to jog your memory, Will. You haven't seen her in days. You're not, you haven't jogged a day in your life, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> doubt it but i don't know what this whole jog memory thing is like i'm fine i remember everything perfectly crystal okay tell me the last thing that you remember about me you're a pedophile Not tonight before tonight talking to debbie in the hospital That's i don't, the last I don't thing like you, remember you. About and i'll me. tell you why i don't like you is because you stole my wife away oh you stole winnie away from me oh. Well, you have Winnie back. No, I don't. I haven't seen her in years, Lauren. Why are you listening to me? You're not hearing the words I'm saying. I'm, listen to the me. words I'm saying, Lauren. Listen, <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Well, listen to me. Well. Listen to me. I haven't seen Winnie in years. Okay. Now I don't know what kind of scheme you got going here or what you and i don't know if you and winnie are trying to laugh at me on the other line or something but i'm not having it okay i haven't seen her in it, years well and i'm listen. getting real mad right now oh i don't care how mad you're getting listen you haven't seen winnie in dates no in the, in the jail i haven't, in Lauren, I haven't right seen now. her in years she's on She's only been in the jail for two You're days. You're not listening to the words I'm saying that are coming out of my mouth. Get I haven't seen her in years. I know you. Uh, I know you say you don't remember seeing her in years. Yes, because I don't. I haven't. Yes, but you have. That's why I'm trying to jog your memory. When he went to Maine, <laughs> you just keep saying the same when thing. When he has never been to Maine. Yes, she has. She moved there. I'm sure she's on the other line, la teeing it up with you, right behind your back, probably. Winnie is not in Maine. Winnie is in California in L.A. County Jail right now. She has been for two days. Oh, give me a break. Um, I'm trying to explain this stuff to you. But oh, well, you know what? I don't care if Winnie's locked up. You, I'm you have to want to have she your memory. She left me you for have you. To want, you have to want to have your memory jogged in order for, for you to be ready. Is that how it works? Is you it like hitting rocks? Saying have your memory jogged. It, it doesn't what you do, do it. He's he's talking like how you with an alcoholic or someone who's an addict you have to want help to get help right like just Lauren with with his sexual with his sexual issues with children like he has to admit that he needs help in order to accept the help that's being given to him he just said you have to want to get your memories back in order to get your memories back and like Will you are Will you are purposely keeping amnesia like you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> Will, I'm, stop it. Stop it right fucking now. Will, I'm jogging your memory. Okay, you're I'm not jogging me. I'm, you're not letting me. I'm telling you to I'm pump the gas, and you're not doing it. How are we going to get this car started if you're not helping? I don't know. I keep, Why do you keep talking about jogging, okay? 
you're confusing the man. Uh, uh. You're not in shape. You can't tell me <laughs> about jogging. Okay. How, how do you know? How you're, do you know I'm not? He shape? remembers that because I've seen. How can you? Re- yeah, but when you, if you remember me back from when I was in with Debbie. He was fit. I was very much in shape. He was fit. Gordon, you've never been in shape. Oh, whoa, he's fit as a fiddle. <laughs> he's fit as a fiddle. You've never been in shape. Oh, my God. Gordon, I know your mind's fucked up. Have you seen my YouTube channel, you will? <laughs> oh okay, God. hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, forget the, I know the fiance's a big deal right now, but you just call me fat. You just call me fat. So we're about to veer off for a minute. Go look at my YouTube channel. <laughs> Have you seen my YouTube channel? Oh, Call me He's fat. Call that fat, really? Go look at my, go look at my YouTube channel. I'm I'm cut. I'm a I'm Mr. Perfect, bitch. No. What's your YouTube channel? I'll look it up on my phone. Yeah, look Shoot. it up. Maybe that'll maybe it'll, maybe it'll help you memorize. Oh, that'll yeah, that'll help. my phone. No, don't call your sweetheart. Thank you. What What's your channel? What's your stupid channel's name? <laughs> it says Lauren Armstrong a lot. Okay, what am I watching? Which one am I watching? Watch the exercise. Watch the exercise video. Look, this is what we have time. The exercise video. Okay, <laughs> let's watch this. The exercise video and the cooking this is video. An ad. This is an ad. Sorry. What? I didn't know you were monetizing your channel. Well, yeah, that's, that's the only reason people do YouTube. Yeah. Uh, no, people do it as a hobby. Oh, okay. My hotel has a lot. Anyway. All right, anyway, here we go. Here's Lauren Armstrong working. Was, Let's listen. It's going to wind up hurting. You'll regret it in the long run, so. I remember I'm everything. Not gonna do a whole lot of Look at that belly. Oh. <laughs> you're going to tell me you're in shape? Look at that belly. <laughs> you never I didn't have a belly back then, Will. Yes, you yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Joke's on you, Will. Because uh, your eyes... <laughs> Your eyes are lying to you. <laughs> you know what? This confirms it. He really does have amnesia. If he sees a belly that he he can't be helped. He really you know has what? Amnesia. You know what, Jamie? I'm sorry because this man is far worse than I thought he was. I'm trying. Here I am trying to jog his memory. His brain is something. This clearly his eyes are fucked up. Some yo know, call the doctor back in there. I'm gonna let you go handle this man because he thinks I look fat. This crazy motherfucker. It was crazy motherfucker with his crazy beauty standards. Uh, I hey, can't help him. You can't jog his man. It's not gonna this happen. Man, this man woke up fat phobic. Uh, he got an issue. He got he got body dysmorphia on me. Don't put your body dysmorphia on me. I'm handsome. I'm sexy. The belly back then, Will Lauren. The shirt is hanging off of your stomach, not your pecs. Off my rock. And you don't have pecs. Oh, the the You're out of shape. <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Listen, oh my look, listen, god, man! Listen to this, Jamie. I can't. I love how bad Will sounds. Will sounds. Will sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wasting my time with this, Lauren? You're fat. Man, you? I can't do this. Is this you? I can't do this with them. I can't do this. This man. Is, is this your voice? <laughs> oh. What happened, Lorn? I can't do that with him. He, 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 he's, he's like normal. He just doesn't want to listen to anybody. Oh, it's not so easy. Uh. <laughs> Honey, when he calls you sweetheart and stuff, don't encourage him, yeah, please. Yeah, don't do that. Just... You hung up because you were wrong about being in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Lord got it. I was in too. shape back then. <laughs> Tell me anything about my shirt, ain't got my belly. <laughs> um, if I did, it was, it was beer. Yeah, I can see it. So, well, of course. Oh, Point how fucking right he is. How right he is. Upset. I'm not doing this tonight. You've done. You've been doing it for hours. <laughs> you've been doing it. Video proof, and you argue you won't as we look at it. Then say he doesn't want to listen. I'm not doing this tonight. Not tonight. Baby. I don't get it. You can get it that I'm not doing this tonight. Yeah. 
All you're doing is encouraging me. He calls you sweetheart. You call him sweet will. He just told you how. Tell him again. You want to encourage him? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I'm not. I'm not doing this shit tonight. I get irritated talking to him now. Before the it's just like when before when I was talking to him before. It was the same fucking shit. Same shit, different brain. Oh Jesus, it's my fault again. No, it's not your fault, but you're not Never helping. Said it was your fault. Call her, Lauren. She's not helping. Good night, Dick. Oh. Hey, baby. Can you please not get mad at me anymore? I'm not mad at you, well, honey. I'm, I'm, I'm mad because all the fuck. So I didn't lower the volume. It's just in the call like this. I don't. I'm. I imagine it's gonna get louder. Did it get quieter for you? Yeah, it sounds like he's uh half asleep, but still oh. want to answer the phone. See, it sounds to me like he's his wife is in bed next to, is in bed and he had to go to like the closet so he can get this hushed call from his mistress in the middle of the night that's what it sounds like to me what up shit happens it's like how can you I'm, I'm sorry for you speak up bitch Thank say my you. name I'm mad because all this fucked up shit happens I can't hear you. Hold on, my wife's awake. <laughs> I gotta be quiet. My wife's awake. Can you hear me? Honey? Hello? Okay, I'm here. Can you hear me? No. No. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? No. I can't hear you. What is he doing? I can't hear you. So you can't hear me? Oh, there he is. There we go. <laughs> can you hear me now? There we go. Is that better? Yes. Okay. I'm not mad. I can't hear you. Oh my god. I would like if this was real life, we would be done talking. You go quiet quickly for the day. Text oh, now. Text me. Good. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Why do he oh, constantly man. go back down when it's time to talk? What the fuck is this problem? <laughs> oh, I I don't want to talk on the phone if if the conditions are per like it could be crystal clear and you can sound like you're in the next room. Uh, I'm not trying to be on the phone. If I can't hear you, if we're having technical difficulties, you're gonna need to text me. And if it's too much to text, unless some shit is on fire or someone's been kidnapped, then it's not that important. You just uh, we'll talk we'll talk when it when it sounds better. The next time I'm not busy and you have some good connection. I'll I'll let you know and then you call me. I because I do this shit would irritate me so fucking much. Hey. <laughs> it's not his fault. You would think for somebody relationship oh, that only depends on being on the phone <laughs> would make sure. Yeah, you got a clear phone. Is he allowed to have a landline phone? I, I mean, because there wasn't always cell phone service was not always a thing, right? Like, I mean, in especially where he lives, you would think he would. Doesn't he have to have a landline? Why doesn't he have a landline phone? Bitch, like, pick up the cordless, pick up your two point four gigahertz Uniden cordless phone, 
and talk to your fiance because this bullshit is not working. I know. Blows my mind that you can't remember. Blows my fucking mind. Something you think you can remember, you'd remember. That's how it works. No idea. It just blows my mind that that shit keeps happening. It is pretty mind blowing. He doesn't get to select the memories he get to keep. Such a shit like that keeps happening. It does suck. It does suck that people keep getting amnesia. It just sucks that stuff like this keep happening. It's just one thing after another. It's no one's fault. It just happened. Oh, it's his fault. He doesn't seem to be too eager no to get those to numbers blame. back. We just have to work through it. <laughs> what? You should try and help him and be understanding. I'm trying, honey. I'm trying. You know? I can't hear you. Oh, crap. It's me, Noel. I got some blue math today, so. Really? Math, first of all. Come on now. We black, so is crack. Okay, get it. Whoa. Away. Now that is a Mon- that is a Monegro <laughs> racism person. Slothcat, according to Slothcat, black people don't smoke meth. We only smoke crack. We only smoke uh, crack. Honest, meth is for white people, man. Honest Where is, is now the new. Honest, you know, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a diversity. I'm gonna do a diversity mix up. I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace you with a white woman. Do it. It ain't gonna be nothing but me again in disguise. <laughs> Hey y'all! Sold off. <laughs> off. Is that your dog or is that the dog on? No, that's that's my dog barking in his sleep. That's not a bark. Nice. I'm saying it's, it's barking in the sleep though. Oh, okay. Yeah, Daisy does that. What's Lauren doing? I think I'll, I think I'll smoke a cigarette. I think I'll have a cigarette. That's a good point. Good point. Hello. Lauren. What is Lauren doing? Hello. Did Lauren fall? <laughs> Did Lauren fall back to sleep? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. He sounds like he's underwater. <laughs> Why won't he just go to go to sleep? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk yeah, I, the, off. the thing that doesn't make sense is he is so eager to be on the phone to be. This is not a good relationship. Why would you be so eager to be on the phone to just be disappointed time and time again? With Casey and with Jamie, every time he's on the phone, no good comes from it. He, he never gets off the phone feeling better than when he got off the than when he got on the phone. He if Lauren has a bad day a, at work and he comes home and talks to Jamie, his, his night's going to be even worse when he gets off the phone. Casey guaranteed they're, they're plus threes. If your day was at a seven, it'll be at a ten it, negative by the time you get off, and and that's guaranteed. But for whatever reason, he's it's like he. Again, that sunken cost fallacy. He's waiting. I keep putting money into this mach- to, into this love machine. Eventually, it's going to pay out in love. Like eventually, Jamie will turn around, and then we'll just have these great conversations, and we'll be in love, and we'll talk about 
all these great things. So I have to, we just have to work through this dip on our roller coaster. Uh, we, you know, we're going up and up and up and up, and then we're going to hit the fun part where it's all like just downhill and loop de loops. Because it's going to be smooth sailing eventually. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Yeah, who cares that there's always another guy around and who, you know, well, you, you, so, always sees and, you so you're going to quit the race every time there's a hurdle? How are you gonna do hurdles if you can't jump? You gotta jump over those hurdles. Eventually, eventually, sloth cat. There's no more hurdles. Just smooth sailing to the finish line. What do you think of that? I think that's a good saying right there. I think it's beautiful. Let me turn my headset off. My just headset. hang up the phone. Okay, Annie, pick up your speaker. Okay. Why did he wait so long to put her on speaker? Why did he do that? He lives alone. Why why did he do that? So I was saying that it sucks because we have it's frustrating that we have to start somewhere. Something he ain't else. even saying nothing. <laughs> what really is this? It's really frustrating that the only place that he lost his memory was most you for me. That's that's all you know of right now. Like this is all he's been awake for hours. He just heard about this within the last because the first one was like 40 minutes. Let's just say it's been hours since he's learned about this. As far as you know, the only thing that they haven't gone through every portion of this man's memory. They don't know. That's all you know about right now. And so Lauren's like, well, it just really sucks. That's the one area. That's just all you know. And it's it's so selfish. And, and I know it's said over and over again. But Lauren just provides every fucking reason. Like, how can you not? How can you be any worse than being a pedophile piece of shit? Like, you're, you're some people were saying that even when he ripped Betty off. Before, before, before Dateline, people warned her not to work with Lauren. So in the small town, I, I, how much worse can you fucking be? Where in that small town where everyone knows everyone, prior to you going and getting arrested in Nashville, you were already known as the town piece of shit. He left with his head in shame the first time. Then he goes on. Then the months later, they turn on the TV and they see that piece of shit getting arrested for being a pedophile. And then he goes back. Why would you go back? How do you go back? Hey man, he um, he's delusional. How, seriously, he's, how he's do you very delusional? How do you? It's not L.A. or like you know, you have Malik Washington who was in Queen. Like you have these people who are in New York and California, these big places, and he goes back to Cornville, fucking Maine, where even but he didn't want to be there just because people knew that he was a fucking fraud. But now, not only do people know he's a fraud, but they know he's a pedophile, and that's and. Like it, the worst of the worst, and he went fucking back. Of course, he has to entertain the idea of these ridiculous catfish because who else? Who else is he gonna be with? Even in Skowhagen, they don't want shit to do with Lauren. Ridiculous, man. He should just stay hidden in the woods. That's he, he should have stayed in the woods when he was hiding there from the police. He should have he should have just decided he could never go back home and made his life in the woods and been a woodsman. That would have been better. Oh my! Because then the stories around Cornville would be, "Hey, I was camping and I saw the Lornville. I saw the Lornville pedophile out the the, the famous. Remember you guys remember that guy from Dad? Yeah. Well, he lives in the woods and no one would believe it. it would be like legend." People would get glimpses of, of, of a five foot six Sasquatch naked running running around the woods. Running around the woods with an axe. <laughs> and you just butt naked with a baseball cap on and an axe. <laughs> like singing. I heard it. I swore I heard it singing. It didn't know all the words. <laughs> but to be fair, they're pretty I'm old clothes. Uh huh. That's not all he lost. He doesn't remember his kids and Winnie. Don't <laughs> be shitting all over them. Well, okay. He doesn't remember Winnie at all. He doesn't remember his kids. He remembers Winnie. 
Big five foot two foot. <laughs> he doesn't remember a lot of what happened the past few years. It's just irritating to me that the same type of stuff has happened all the time. It's just like it's, it's never ending. Right, all you're focused on is one thing. The one thing that matters to him. Rephrase it. I love you. And what do you mean keeps happening? I love you. <laughs> keeps happening. It's all the time. It's what? The amnesia thing. It's one thing right after another. And What's happening? You know, I'm climbing into bed with you. And all the shit that's happening now. Yeah. Like it keeps happening. How does it keep happening? Is that his bed making all that squeaking? More. Did he fall back to sleep? Sounds so. I love you. Lauren, Lauren is mad at the booking of his storylines. Lauren's going to get the booker fired. Freddie Prince Jr. is not doing a good job. Sloth gets jumping in the bed. Explain. I have told and explained to you time and time again about what happened before and the answers are never good enough. Then you keep bringing it up as if I didn't answer it. How many times do I have to answer before you stop? Well, uh, at least at least one more time. I mean, girl, I can't answer that. Uh, Noel, this is an interesting point. The only moving on for Lorne is going to be when he moves on into the ether, and we can all celebrate. And I want to ask you, like, honestly, are you are you going to be happy? Would it, are you going to be satisfied when you hear that Lorne is passed, or will you regret that there will never be any more catfish? You see, because for me, I like the idea of Lorne because I know that Lorne's in hell every day. Lorne is in hell. Like, like I just explained. Just think about what I said. If People already knew Lorne as the town piece of shit without him trying to fuck kids. He is in hell. He can't, like, his life is miserable. So every day that he has to get up and do that and remember what he did over, like, I feel like that, like, that's the ideal situation. He's not going to be happy. There's no happiness for him. Uh, so I, I would, I will feel sad because there, it means there won't be any uh, catfish unless someone gets a Ouija board and then we like do. I don't know how paranormal catfishing. Sloth cat, you're into that. How does that work? Well, first of all, um, never do that because your meme told you the not gateway. To, your meme yeah, told you not to fuck gateway. with me. Sloth cat, don't you know. be fucking with Ouija boards. They fuck. Oh, they seem fun, but you get you catch you a ghost. Them motherfuckers like stray cats. They ain't ever leaving. And, uh, you know, you, you don't want to take the chance of Lauren possessing somebody's body, man. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? <laughs> could, you, could you imagine? That would be, be crazy. That would be crazy. He would try and, re he would try and uh, relive his youth and become a basketball star by taking over some kid's life. That would be a weird Disney movie, right? Like a, like a, no, I don't want, I don't want to say it. <laughs> You guys all understand what I'm. You guys just in your own mind picture what I'm saying. Lord coming, <laughs> Lord reliving his youth as a ghost and go. Twenty times what? You aren't even listening. Probably why I have to keep answering the same questions. 
Honey, I'm listening to you. You're listening, girl. I've been what did I say? I love you. Everything that you said, something, something put something down or something. something. <laughs> Uh, because you weren't listening. <laughs> I, I was, uh, oh. oh God! Anyway, we... I have told and explained to you time and time again about what happened before, and the answers are never good enough. Then you keep bringing it up as if I didn't answer it. Uh, you, you've already told him that. Uh, I, uh, never mind. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Nothing. I don't know what to do. Um, Buster. Carl Weathering had a, had a, said Lorne is a ghost. Lorne is a ghost will still be on probation. <laughs> Lord's ghost will need to ask for permission to leave the afterworld. <laughs> Lord, how is your ghost on probation? <laughs> Flothcat, are you still there? Oh, I'm still here. I just don't find out that funny. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that hilarious at all. I think you're giving like this Carl Weathering guy a sympathy <laughs> laugh. That's that's a sympathy laugh. And anybody that did a LOL in the chat, those are perfectly <laughs> LOLs. Those is not even. Um, he's genuine. getting a he's getting a push. Let the man get a push. Why are you why are you don't you don't do the booking here, okay? Uh, you sound like Lauren. Like you sound guy. like Lauren right now. You're unhappy with the storyline. Like <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm about to go talk to Vance and say he ain't ready. I don't you think he's ready. To, you about to you about to jump to the LWO where a man gets respect. Look, I've been looking over this LWO application. And I'm starting there's, to think. I'm a, hold on. Is there an app? Did you have to? Was there a PDF you had to download? It is a PDF application, and I've been looking it over. I never talk about some good ideas over there. You know, there's, a, there's an application. Oh, fuck. treating as hell. <laughs> Me either, but you act like I should. No, I'm not acting like you should. I'm trying to think of something to do, and I can't think of anything. I don't know what to do. My papa's a ghost on probation. It ain't funny. <laughs> Maybe talking to him about experiences you've had together will help. No. Um, what about you? Maybe they help us. You talk to <laughs> What? Did he say fuck? <laughs> Did he say fuck? Huh? What is it? How? <laughs> Yo, I mean, like, I've been on the phone. Like, I've woken up and had to get on the phone before. And I'm sure the first minute. Like, he had a lot of time where they were, they were trying to figure shit out with him not being able to hear. Like, there was a lot of time. He should be awake now. He should be awake now and just you're just have the conversation. This man still sounds like he still sounds like he's half. Just go to sleep, bitch. You don't need to talk every time. Just go to back to sleep, girl. I'm a holla. I'm a holla, girl. I'm gonna talk to you in the morning, girl. Yo, I would love to stay up with you tonight and and rock your fucking body with the best phone sex that you could have in the hospital after hearing your friend just woke up twice from being. I would love to. I would make them fucking thighs quake, girl, but I'm tired right now. I'm tired, okay? I bet you he hasn't had like a, a like a romantic relationship in at least, I'm telling you, at least four years. Yeah, man, I'll offer you love. Hell yeah, I will agree to love you, but we're gonna have to have a moderator. Because if it's just you and me, I'm gonna fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you want love, I'll give you love. That's sexy, right? Hey, man, that is, man. I wish somebody loved me like that. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. No. Well, do you want me to do that with or without you on the phone? Well, 
Yeah, I do. I, I want you to do it with me on the phone. Last time I, I tried, you got mad. That, this, that was last I'm gonna time, leave, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to leave it on speaker so I can hear you, I'm okay? I'm going to stay on mute this time, Emma. You are just going to fall asleep. I'm not going to tell you I won't. I might. I'm tired. I'm trying to get your closet done. What? <laughs> He's, he's tired. He's trying to get the closet done in the dreams, and it even made him tired. Then I'll wait until tomorrow. They're not open tomorrow, honey. What? Is this like the mom's door dogs? Okay, well, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Good night. Literally. Oh, wait a second. Is Will still in the bed with her while she's doing that? This call was brought to you by the Lawn World Order. And that was, uh, and that was it. That was, that was, uh, that was Will Has Amnesia, part one and part two. And both of those are in the, uh, in the description. Flosscat, what did you what did you think? What did you think of the of the calls? I think um we still understand that Lauren is unhelpable. He's yeah. he's too far gone. He's an idiot. And um I want somebody to love me like T Cap Game and love Wes. Well that's it's not that, fair. <laughs> that wasn't that was that was not quite the point of what of what I was saying. Uh, but no, I I agree. The man is too far gone, and I I love I love the uh, I love the amnesia bit. It's so tropey. I think it was really well done. I'm, I'm interested to know where it, where it went after this, guys. Wednesday night, I'll be streaming with TLI, and we're going to be doing the call that just released the Yancey call that Hillborn just released this weekend. So Wednesday, six p.m. Pacific, I'll be doing that with uh with the Lorne, with the Lorne identity, well, the fake Lorne identity, the, if he's not uh, still locked, according to Noel, the man is, the man is locked up, uh, so I haven't, I haven't heard anything about that, but uh, guys, and also, please don't, remember to be respectful. Ricky, what's up, man? What's up, Ricky? And I saw that word wrench in here. Yeah, so who said wrench? I saw that bitch say that I was being disrespectful. Disrespectful. Res <laughs> yes, English is my second language. Make fun of it. She said I was being res yeah, yeah. disrespectful I'm, to women. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm well, gonna what leave about, it here what, for one second. I want bitch? you to guys read where I'm. I'm being disrespectful or acting like a fucking predator. I want to know why that bitch would say he was being disrespectful in the first place. <laughs> Why would she say he was being wrist respectful? <laughs> what? Wrist why would that? Why well. would that bitch say that? That's what I want to know. Nah, you didn't ruin it, man. Because I'm not going anywhere anyway. It's oh, okay, stupid, good. Man. Like I, I'm, I am your guys's. I'm you, like your community. Okay, fine. You can okay. have the teacup community, right? But the teacup right, community has herpes, and <laughs> I'm gonna be your herpes. Just when you guys think I'm gone away, I'm gonna come back with a f fucking infection. Wow. You guys sick? Well, I mean, not as cool as uh, not as cool as it could have been. Not probably, probably not the thing you wanted to say. Uh, compare yourself to herpes, but uh, sloth cat, we're we're gonna head out because we actually three hours and twenty minutes. I di I didn't think that we would end up streaming this long. So, uh, can you can you go ahead and and say good night to everyone? Take y'all ass to sleep. Take y'all asses to sleep, everyone. And so we, should we close with uh with my commercial when ha with with my commercial when Howard Stern interrupted his show to talk about my commercial or yeah you know what we're gonna watch that we're gonna watch that and then I'm gonna close with some shitty rap so it's gonna be a little bit of an extended close guys rem reminder Wednesday stream with TLI I have a new uh unsung zeros about Kazoo Kaz forty five forty one. 
the feigning predator. And I found out some stuff about him I didn't know, like see, some really interesting stuff. So uh, that'll be coming out this week. So make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for hanging out. And as always, sleep. Here. What? That, we have a sponsor. He's got an unusual commercial. Did you? Did you? Let me, let me play this one. This is like crazy stuff. Let me see if I can find this commercial real quick. This is for, uh, yeah. do I still have Do you need the name? I got it. What is it? Seeking arrangement? That's it. Yeah. Look, did you, hey, Robin, listen to this. Say, Leroy, what's the name of that website you're always talking about? I hate Jeff.com. Don't be like that. I'm talking about the other one that you said was, quote, the place to hook up with hot chicks. Oh, you mean seekingarrangement.com. Man, they got 12 women for every man so you can find the arrangement you're looking for. <laughs> Leroy sounds a little weird, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you sure Sal didn't write that? Is that it? I didn't play the whole thing, but Leroy goes on. It goes on, on like that? Uh, it doesn't sound like Leroy could even afford a website, honestly, in his condition. <laughs> my lips. There you go. Okay, he's approaching the podiums. Yeah. It's like Sal's impression. That is just... I mean, if anything, how a star just a racist thing. If, if in true Romy, Mo Negro's fashion, Jamie Foxx refused to play that on the Foxhole, and he said it was the most racist thing he ever <laughs> Really? Come yeah. on now. He, it, seriously, he refused to play it. Uh, Howard Stern, Stern and the, what was the other channel? We because we tried on the like we tried on the golf several channels refused it, but uh, Stern was one of the only ones who would. But uh, anyway, that's uh it, that that's really it, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for hanging out. Blah blah blah. Sleep well. Now I want to do a facecom reveal. Oh, Wes, come see me, man. Come see me, please, man. Oh. What a little come see me, man. <laughs> what a little. That was great. Kid was watching happen on MTV. I tell you it all sounded the same to me. Song after song, the same old beat. But I went on over and I took a seat. I can do that, I said to my girl. When she stopped laughing, she said, give it a whirl. MC Hammer, Heavy D. DJ whatever mean nothing to me. Look out world, I'm about to explode. Introducing myself, Fat Daddy White Bo. Oh, That's Mr. You. Are you out to get there, man?